Yo, what's up, uh, Ether, Hidden Missile, Nathan Wright, what's going on, guys? Hold on a second, I'm not exactly, like, the most professional streamer. Usually record videos, but I like to give you guys these rare live streams every time we hit a milestone. Getting ready to hit 800,000 gamer score. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing that good old bus, that bus stop strategy, yep, exactly. The OGs know <laughs> how to get that bounty. Um, it, for those that don't know, it's the quickest way to rack up bounty. Uh, it's a little trick slash cheat in the game to make the missions go by a lot faster. I'm gonna wait like one more minute and then we'll like officially get started. How's everybody doing? Oh, you're back. That's funny. I never left, guys. I've, I've just been making shorts. YouTube is making a lot of changes. They're promoting and, and trying to get creators to uh, make more shorts. I think they're, they're going to start putting ads on shorts next month in February. So I just wanted to build up a catalog of short form content. So that's why I've been posting so many shorts. I'm approaching like 90 different shorts already. Once I hit 100, I think I'll slow down a little bit, but you know, I just want to have catalogs of short form content as well as long form content. Okay, cool. I got the uh, the chat widget going on the uh, footage. The past few times I streamed, I didn't have the chat on the actual footage, so hopefully it works out. Like I said, I'm not exactly like a professional streamer here, so I still got to figure this all out. What console are you on? I'm playing the good old Xbox 360. What's up, Chivo? Yo, what's up, Dubs fam? Alright, so looks like we got some people in here. We get ready to do this. Thanks for the support, everybody. It's funny because I've been getting all these comments like, yo, where did you go? Did you retire? Are you still doing achievement guides? All these funny comments. It's like, if you've been paying attention at all, I've been posting videos. I've posted like nearly 50 videos in the last month. They just haven't been guides. Like I said, I've just been trying to, you know, build a little catalog of short form content. Married to the game. I like your twisted metal short. I appreciate it. Let me know, are you guys enjoying the shorts? I know it's not for everybody, but you know, you gotta adapt with all the changes and stuff. Yeah, Void King, so uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted is going to be the next episode of Classic Completions, for sure. Yo, what's up? What's up, bit? What time is it there? 10 p.m. It's dawn here, but I wanted to see you hitting the mark. Oh, dang, I got busted. That's what I get for not paying attention. Alright guys, so quick lesson about this game. If you get busted, it's not so good. You can only get busted like three times before your car gets repossessed. Unless you have these markers right here. If you have markers, it's like a get out of jail free card. The other cool thing about this game is they, they have pink slips. So like when once you get to like the boss battles or the blacklist guys, um, it's basically pink slips. So if you lose, you can like lose your car. And uh, so the game has a lot of consequences, which makes it, you know, a lot more interesting. All right, so we're gonna go with the Supra. Let's see what's up in the chat. Daniel Perrin, well done getting the 800K. I've just hit over 1.2 million myself. Mad respect, anybody that has over 1 million is a legend. Which boss are you on? RIP. Um, I'm actually on blacklist number 10 right now, so I have it exactly lined up. Um, basically, I'm 50 points away from 800,000 gamer score, and I have two achievements, um, 25G a piece, that I'm going to be getting that's going to get me to exactly 800K. So I'm going to show you guys two different blacklist races today. We're basically going to go like through two chapters of the game. And uh, that'll get me the last two achievements. It'll take me to right, right uh, at 800,000 gamer score. And then um, I'll start doing guides again. I've kind of just been waiting on guides because I've kind of been stuck at this milestone and I've been putting off this stream and you know, next thing you know, it's been a whole month. So let's do this. 
resume free roam. The other cool thing is like when you get to the boss battles, after you beat them, you have like five different options. You can choose like a rare part. You could choose like a rare, um, like uh, I don't know what they call them, like accessory basically, like a bumper or something cosmetic. Or you can choose um, a random, and a random has like a, the potential of you getting their pink slip. So it's kind of uh, it's kind of like a gamble at the end of each one because you're hoping to get their pink slip, but it's not necessarily guaranteed. You guys will get what I'm talking about in just a minute. All right, so I can either go to the garage and start my next mission, or you can press down on the D-pad. And basically how this game works is you have different blacklist members. There's a total of 15. I've already defeated five of them. So I believe I'm on blacklist number 10. There we go. So as you can see, it says I need to, I need to win five races. I've won zero so far. I need to complete four milestones and get 500,000 bounty. So first I'm going to go for the bounty. There's actually a quick trick to get easy bounty. And uh, basically you go to bounty, you pick the first location. That's going to take you right here. And all you got to do is reverse and go over here. Take a left. This is the good old bus trick. Let me know in the chat if you know about the bus trick. You take a right right here. Then you're gonna follow this street and you're gonna look over here on the right hand side. You see the bus station? Make sure the cop is still following you. You don't wanna lose the cop. Oh wow. Okay, cool. I have another one behind me. Dang it, I missed the ledge. Alright. Can't get busted again. So let's see here. So you gotta go up here. Hopefully he doesn't follow me up here. Wow, he did follow me up here. Dang. I'm all trying to show you guys the trick, and I'm all messing up. Let's see. It's easier than it than it looks, guys. I'm just messing up. Here we go. All right, all you gotta do is get right here. Stop right here. You can even go towards the ledge a little bit. That way you don't cool down. Um. If you want to cool down and end the pursuit, you can back up a little bit and eventually they'll, they won't see you and the pursuit will end and you'll get a ton of bounty. So while I'm racking up a ton of bounty to be able to move on to the next blacklist member, I'll check in with the chat, see what's going on with you guys. It wasn't that long ago that I had more gamer score than you, now you're over 150k in front of me, lol. Yeah, I mean, it's because, you know, um, it's not like I'm playing hard hard games or anything like that. I'm playing a lot of, you know, easy achievement games and stuff like that, you know, trying to make video guides and stuff like that, so. It may sound impressive, but really it's not that impressive. It really depends on, you know, what you're playing and stuff like that. Um, Ian Lindsay, yup, know the trick. Upshift Eddie says, been watching you for a while, brother. Can't believe I finally got to see your face. That's funny. Um... I, I, I forget that some of you guys still haven't seen my face. I've showed it a few times um, in, some, in some live streams and some unboxings and things like that. But uh, yeah, I definitely don't show my face in every single video. So it's a rare uh, treat for you guys, I guess. Uh, if they follow most of the time, they'll drive off. You are good. Yeah, um, the only time the police will follow you up here is if they like literally follow you up here. But once you're up here, they won't be able to figure out how to get up here. They're basically all just going to hang out around you, uh, not knowing how to get up here. And so we're just going to rack up bounty. And uh, this helps kind of like cheese the whole bounty mechanic of the game. Because otherwise you have to like get into police pursuits and go on these like epic uh, chases and stuff like that. And then you gotta hope you get away, you know, once you get a lot of heat, and that's hard, so. This is just like an easy way out, and I figured I'd do it. That way I can also interact with you guys in the chat a little bit while we're getting some free bounty. Alan Morrow says, hey Chivo, I added you on Xbox. Thanks, man. If you guys uh, put your gamer tag, I can try to add you. Um, to be honest, I get a ton of requests on Xbox. It's a bit overwhelming, so. 
I can't necessarily accept everybody, but uh, I'll do my best for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I don't understand what you said, bro. I don't uh, speak your language, unfortunately. I wonder what's up with the widget that I'm using for the chat on the screen because I feel like it pops up with some stuff and other stuff it does not. But maybe I'm just missing it. Before, I didn't use these different widgets when I was streaming. Now I'm using a widget for chat. I'm using a widget for super chats, I think. Um, so we'll see how they work. But yeah, guys, I do have more guides on the way. Um, I was just trying to do some shorts, build up some short form content. Okay, there it goes. The widget's working. Cool, yeah. Uh, put put your guys' gamer tag in the chat. If anything, you guys could add each other. You know what I mean? We we all have a good community going in the achievement hunting community, or at least most of us. We try to. Yeah, there's a ton of new achievement updates now that it's January. Um, if you guys aren't familiar, most of the achievements come out, or achievement updates come out at the beginning of the year and during the summer. So there are a ton of games that got achievement updates, and so I'm definitely behind on guides right now, so you can expect a lot of guides in the next few weeks because I'm going to be catching up on all the achievement updates and then also all the easy games. And then I still want to cover some cool, like, bigger titles and some Game Pass stuff, like GoldenEye. I'd love to do some guides or even just, like, a full uh, walkthrough for GoldenEye. What's up, Psychotron? I appreciate the support, guys. Whoop, whoop, that's the sound of the police. <laughs> Oh, yo, super chat. Thank you, Radiant Sword, for the $2. I appreciate it. Have to sleep soon, but props to you on 800k. And I, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I really appreciate the support, guys, for real. A lot of you guys have uh, been down for me for a few years now, so I appreciate it. I understand a little bit why people were in my comments, like, asking me where I was at and stuff like that, because... If you look at my YouTube channel, it shows that I haven't posted a video in over a month. But if you go over to the Shorts tab, you can see all the videos that I've been posting. YouTube just separates them on different tabs now. Which is good, because I don't want all my Shorts and Short Form content mixed in with my feed of, of my regular YouTube videos. Okay, there it goes. The Super Chat uh, widget worked. It was a little bit delayed, but that's cool. So I think what's going to happen is once this stream is over and this ends up, you know, as a video on YouTube, um, the chat will be permanent and like the super chat notifications will be permanent. Those will like be edited on the video uh, versus in my previous streams, I was just looking at the chat on my own. I didn't have it as a widget to show you guys, you know, in the video. So it'll be kind of cool, a bit different. All right, I think we have enough bounty to go ahead and move on. So let's see if I can back up a little bit and get them to get off my tail. I gotta go into cooldown mode. What have you guys been playing though? I'm interested to know. I know release has kind of slowed down a little bit in January. That That's another reason why I kind of like, you know, took the opportunity to uh, focus on short form content because I wasn't missing out on too much. However, this week a lot of games came out. Hi-Fi Rush, that was a super dope shadow drop. I'm really excited to check that one out, actually. That and GoldenEye. And then EA, shout out to EA, they, they sent me a Dead Space remake. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna try to cover that. But you know, it's harder to cut, it's hard to cover those uh, longer games. You know, especially, you know, trying to keep up with all of the easy achievement games. And then being in dad mode, and then working, you know, running my business full time and all that. It's, 
it's hard to be playing these long ass games. Like I could maybe play like a eight, a game of like an eight hour campaign, but like tw games of twenty hour campaigns and stuff like that. Like now that I'm a, in dad mode and stuff, it's just hard to play games that that are that long. Try to super chat you, bro, and it won't let me. Sorry, bro. It's all good. Upshift, Eddie. Don't even worry about it, bro. I appreciate the thought, bro. It's the thought that counts. True reclaim. Will you be doing videos on Goldeneye? I'm definitely going to try. Um, from what I understand, a lot of the achievements are related to unlocking different cheats in the game. And typically, these cheats, at least in the N64 version, were pressed via the controller, like different button combinations. Um, and I believe they work like that on the Switch, but on the Xbox version, you, you can't use the button combinations for the cheats. You actually have to unlock the cheats by speed running the levels on a, like a certain difficulty. I think it's like agent difficulty. So you basically got to beat the levels quick to unlock the cheats. So you can unlock the cheats like invincibility and invisibility and different things like that, but you have to speed run certain levels. So. I think there is, there is a lot of value in creating guides for GoldenEye just because you need to be able to know how to speed run each level and a guide will probably help you do that. So it'll probably take some work, it'll probably take you know completing these levels lots of times, but uh, hopefully eventually I can get some guides up. Did you ever play King Kong? Yeah, absolutely. It was actually the first game that I completed on this profile was King Kong. Another great launch title with easy achievements. That's what I like about Need for Speed Most Wanted and King Kong and even like Fight Night Round 3, a lot of earlier releases was the fact that you could just complete the game and unlock most of the achievements. Like Need for Speed, this game, all you got, all of the achievements are related to uh, taking out the different blacklist uh, characters. So you have 15 achievements, one for each of the blacklist characters. So every time you like complete a new chapter or eliminate uh, somebody on the blacklist, unlock an achievement and once you complete the game you have your full 1000 g and it was similar with king kong um all you had to do was complete the game and you got the full 1000 g mr low are you from arizona yeah yeah sure am hold on a second yup i'm from arizona i've also lived in san diego but I came back to Arizona. Probably gonna go back to San Diego. Did you see the scheme to complete the Signalis game on PC using debug mode? I've seen a few of those come out. I know I missed uh, on, uh, man, I'm missing the name of the game right now. Uh, Genesis Noir. And then, yeah, I heard about uh, Signalis, but they patched Genesis Noir pretty quick. Like I said, I, I was just, you know, taking a break from guides and stuff like that, so. I figured eventually I'm going to get ca caught up on all, a lot of this stuff, but, you know, it does suck that I missed out on, like, something like Genesis Noir. Mr. Lowe, I just moved there almost a year ago. That's pretty cool, man. What part of Arizona? Alright, cool, guys. So, we ended up escaping from the police, and we've got a bunch of bounties. So, now, if I go over to my Blacklist uh, character, Blacklist number 10, Baron, now I have the minimum 500,000 bounties. There's a check mark there. So, all I gotta do is do a few milestones, uh, four specifically, and I actually got two milestones uh, during that during that pursuit. So, for example, if we check out milestones right here, I already got this one for getting 10,000 bounty in a single pursuit, and I already got this one for lasting five minutes in a pursuit. So I just need to get two more. Um, I think the easiest ones are the speed traps. All you gotta do is go a certain speed uh, past these checkpoints. So I'll just do two of these, and that will take care of the milestones. Don't even need to do any of the longer ones. Good old nitrous. The good old days when they had nitrous in every single racing game. <laughs> Aw man, too slow. It's cause there were there were a lot of like turns right there, so I wasn't able to have so much speed, so I'm gonna hit it from a different angle. 
Let's try over here. I don't hit anybody head on. There we go. Got it. All right. Milestone. Nice and easy. And then we're going to go back to milestones. And then we'll pick another one. Let's see. 114 miles per hour. 139. I'm going to pick the one that's 114. Let's see. What do you think of the Walking Dead games? Did you play them? Um, I played the Telltale ones. I, pl I beat the first one. Um, on my old profile and then I almost beat it on this profile and then the second one I got about halfway through and I remember really enjoying it but eventually I put it down and never got back to it Mr. Little Outside Flagstaff that's cool I've been to Flagstaff a few times I actually want to take my kids up there to go see the snow for those of you that don't know there there actually is some snow in Arizona um, it's just in northern Arizona I was about to load the checkpoint again but I think I already loaded myself here I'm getting distracted but yeah do you have snow up there right now mr. love Going too slow. I'm gonna turn back around. Let's see. Alright. I may have needed to go back a little bit further than that. I don't know. Let's see. Dang, too slow. Alright. It's a shame this game is still expensive to buy secondhand. Yeah, it actually is. This is one of the more expensive Xbox 360 games. I think it. I, I don't know for sure. I haven't checked price charting, but I want to say it goes for like 30 or 40 bucks. It's because it's a launch title, and you know, a lot of people got rid of their 360 games. So the older it is, generally the harder to find it is. So um, I have a Platinum Hits version. Personally, I don't care too much on whether it's Platinum Hits or the white label, black label, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so yeah, I have a Platinum Hits version. I don't even think it has a manual, but I was able to play the game and hopefully, you know, get the full 1000G. Let's see. I Am Dragon Boy says, hey, what's up, dude? Void King says, I know this game is hard to get your hands on since it's delisted. Yeah, what I call a delisted diamond. I feel like that's common with racing games though, especially like lately, we're starting to realize a lot more, uh, you know, racing games are starting to get delisted. And I think it's just because they, the licenses for the vehicles expire and then, you know, they don't want to go pay to renew licenses in an old game that they're not selling anymore. Um, and so unfortunately it just gets caught up in licensing issues like a lot of old, you know, cool games. Most of the uh, Need for Speeds are delisted. I'd do anything to have like Need for Speed Underground or Underground 2 backwards compatible or this backwards compatible. It'd be sweet, but here I am, you know, playing it on the Xbox 360. This game looks fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I'd say this is my third favorite Need for Speed. Um, I think my favorite is ne Underground 2. And then Underground, and then Most Wanted. I think those are the three best Need for Speed games. Uh, but if you disagree with me, let me know down in the chat. Upshift Eddie says, how about Terminator Resistance? Easy 1000, only 25 achievements. It's actually really good. I actually have that one um, in my collection. And that was one I debated on streaming uh, for the Milestone, actually. Um, but I think you have to beat it on multiple difficulties. Although I think there is a trick to unlock uh, all the difficulty achievements without having to replay the game. Soren X says, great progression, dude. I'm around 550,000. Nice, that's good. 500,000 is still really impressive. Uh, Bark Wolfington says, where do you find all these old Xbox 360 games? I could hardly find any old 360 games anywhere close to me. 
Um, I do a lot of Goodwill hunting. Luckily, I'm in a place where I have like five Goodwills within like two miles. So I try to go uh, and stop at the Goodwills like twice a week. And so typically I'll hit like hit up like all five. And so that's like me walking into a Goodwill 10 times a week. And so I got to say, most times there's nothing. You got to like be persistent and have a little bit of perseverance because like seven out of seven out of 10 times you go, there's not going to be any games. But if you go enough and you go at the right time of the day, um, right when they're putting out the stuff that they just got that day, sometimes you can get lucky and you can find those really good finds that, um, you know, make it all worth it. Like make the trips that you didn't get anything worth it, you know? So I get a lot of my games from Goodwill. Um, we're talking 360 games here, like retro games. I also get a lot off of OfferUp. Um, I try to check, you know, uh, if people uh, locally are selling their 360 games or even their original Xbox games. And uh, I'll try to buy bundles off of people and I'll keep the ones that I don't have. And then all the duplicates, I'll either go trade in or try to sell on OfferUp or try to flip them in some way. I don't sell on eBay or Amazon, although I have thought about it. But right now I, I'm approaching, I think like 700 Xbox 360 games. So I have a lot, but I think there's like close to 1300 Xbox 360 games. So I'm, I'm a little over halfway uh, there in terms of getting the whole uh, North American collection. Uh, let's see. Back to the chat, back to the chat. Okay, I see where we were at. It says, there's some eBay sellers I subscribe to. Yeah, I like, I'm, I know of my shorts, it probably comes off like I'm an eBay seller or Amazon seller, but I just try to uh, collect games and then like flip them locally or most of the time, honestly, I end up trading them in and not even getting the value I should be getting for them. Uh, but that's just life, I guess. Uh, let's see. My favorite is Hot Pursuit. Uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, that's another good one. Um, Sticky G says, solid choices. Soren X says, I'm way out of the way in South Australia. Oh, wow. I, I appreciate the support all the way from Australia. What time is it over there right now? Dan Cotton says, I finally hit my 200th completion last night and over 500,000 gamer score with the help of some of your guides much respect i appreciate the support dan cotton i appreciate it um I, I am dragon boy says i used to play it with my dad all the time when i was like seven the, those are the best games the games that you play around seven eight nine years old that you have a lot of nostalgia for personally like those are the games i have the most nostalgia for like when i was that age like i was playing like ssx tricky and simpsons hit and run and uh, Need for Speed Underground games and Tony Hawk Underground games back when all the cool games ended with Underground. You got, I know you guys know what I'm talking about. At least if you're my age. Uh, Mr. Lowe says, yes, uh, some snow coming in a few days. Cool, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely trying to take my kids to go see the snow soon before all the snow's melted up there. Uh, Bit Alamazoo says, speaking of backwards compatible games, I hope Activision Blizzard buyout makes Microsoft bring more games into backwards compatibility, especially 007. Yeah, Activision published a lot of good 007 games. I like Quantum of Solace. That's the one that I liked, the modern 007 game that I liked. But there are so many games that Activision published that aren't backwards compatible. So definitely, I think they should revisit that. But you already know that they say that they're not going to go back to uh you know adding backwards compatibility games which i think is a joke there's there's so much opportunity like even if you go on the digital store for the xbox 360 you'll find tons of games that they're still selling digitally meaning they still make money off the games they have the licenses licenses for these games but the games aren't backwards compatible for example activision the uh crash bandicoot games like crash the titans and uh whatever the other one's called or the Spyro game on the 360, they're kind of rare physically, but they actually still sell them digitally on the Xbox 360, which is weird. They're selling the Crash Bandicoot and Spyro games on the 360 digital storefront, but they're not backwards compatible. So another example of some games that they could add. 
I'd like them to go add some Activision games from like the original Xbox era because there's definitely some good ones. Um, let's see. Upshift Eddie says you can actually beat it on easy and you can get all the achievements. Brother, I'd love to see that stream. He's talking about Terminator. Yeah, I think it, I think I'm gonna go visit that one soon. That's another one where I think you could just beat the game and get most of the achievements naturally. Bark Wolfington says, "Huh, never thought about looking around Goodwill. I may try that." Yeah, I've heard. I think it depends on what state or city you're from. Um, I've heard of some people that like their Goodwills don't even sell games. I've heard some people uh, say that their Goodwills sell the games for really expensive, or just that there's never any games um that's the one excuse though I, I i wouldn't use or let or let prevent you from game hunting there is saying that there's no games is because you, you just got to try like most of the time you go there there's gonna be no games but if you keep trying eventually you'll find some good ones um mr low says did you know you could shop goodwill online it's like ebay and you got a bid i have seen that although i've never used it or purchased anything from goodwill online for the most part, I like to get my stuff in person, um, so I really try not to buy off of eBay or stuff like that. The only instance I've really gotten off of eBay um, was getting cases for like my disc only games, or vice versa, trying to like complete a copy that I already have. Uh, I am Dragon Boy says views are growing. I appreciate it. Void King says thirteen hundred physical games. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, Xbox 360 games out there with retail copies. Um, like I said, I have like close to 700 out of the 1300. It's not exactly 1300. It's like 1256 or something like that for the Xbox 360 North American collection. Soren X says it's 4.40 p.m. Saturday in Australia. Dang, that's pretty crazy. Here um, in Arizona, it's 11.19. Soren X says the OG Xbox had so many great games. Wish the backward compatible ones would get Chivo somewhere down the line. I agree. I think that's like the one of the coolest things that Xbox could do is go add achievements to original Xbox games that are backwards compatible. PlayStation's doing it. They've found a way, even though they're emulating these games uh, like on PS1 and PS2, they figured out a way to implement trophies into these games. Um, even some of the ones that they added like in their new service didn't have trophies at first and they ended up adding trophies like retroactively. So uh, I don't think there's any excuse. I think if Xbox tried, they could do it. Like I'd love to go play Halo or Fusion Frenzy and, you know, uh, get achievements in those games. That'd be sick. Man, you guys are are making the chat active right now. I'm trying to keep up with you guys. Um, Bacha says hi from France. I appreciate the support all the way from France. That's dope. Uh, Bet Alamazoo says that's true. Punisher Gaming says greetings. I am Dragon Boy says Activist. Uh, or Activision has some of the best games. Bacha says Jason Ronald said no more backwards compatibility in the future. I know, but they've also said that before, and then they came back and said, boom, more games, backwards compatible, so if they've changed their mind once, I'm sure they could change their mind again. They just need some convincing. Punisher Gaming World says, I love to see the back, uh, the suffering on backwards compatibility. Speaking of Punisher, Punisher is a game that needs to get a remake or remaster or at least become backwards compatible, and I no, actually, I don't know. I don't think that's Activision. I think that's a THQ game, and THQ has been remaking a lot of these old games. They just brought brought back uh, Risen. I don't know. I'd never even heard anybody talk or care about that game. They should have brought back Punisher. That was an awesome game. Upshift Eddie says Call of Duty Two was an easy one thousand G, but the veteran achievements were a pain. Yeah, I recently did that one. That was actually the game that I played for my last stream for seven hundred thousand. Uh, Bark Wolfington says, Christ Almighty, you have 1,300 by, you have 1,300 360 copies. I don't have 1,300. I have like close to 700 Xbox 360 games. There's about 1,300 total. Um, Sornex says, I agree, Suffering franchise was great. They should bring that back. Both games are really good. 
suffering one and suffering two. Bacha says we also need an achievement rework. The achievement system has been the same since 2005. I definitely think they could add some updates. The last like memorable update I really think they did was showing like the diamond notification and showing the percentage or how rare the achievement is. That was the last time they've actually like really uh, edited achievements at all. Bark Wolfington says, any plans of playing the new Dead Space game? Yeah, um, I mentioned a little earlier in the stream that uh, EA actually sent me the game for free. So I got a copy from EA. So first and foremost, I appreciate EA for that. And uh, I'm going to do my best to try to play it and cover it. But I'm not going to lie. I got a lot of games to cover right now. I got some catching up to do. By the way, you guys notice my shirt? Like I said, this is my favorite Need for Speed game right here. Need for Speed Underground 2. But uh, Most Wanted is like my third favorite. I, I like Need for Speed Underground 2, Need for Speed Underground, and then Most Wanted. Uh, Upshift Daddy says, did you ever play SOCOM for the PS2? That was my entire childhood, especially SOCOM 2. They need to bring that series back. I never played SOCOM, to be honest with you. I didn't really own PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2 growing up. Um, I had like Nintendo consoles until Xbox came out and then I had Xbox consoles. Um, so any of my memories that I have of PS1 or PS2 games were uh, playing at like my friend's house or my cousin's house. Shout out to Dragon Boy for the super chat, two dollars. I I very much appreciate it. Every dollar counts, especially when you got kids. Uh, he says your YouTube videos are great. Thanks for making them. I appreciate it, guys. Uh, let me know. Did you guys find my videos through video guides, or did you find my videos through the recent shorts I've been posting? Anyhow, I'm gonna get back to playing this game. Otherwise, it's gonna take all freaking night to complete this. <laughs> Um, let's see. So I did the milestones. I did the bounty and now all I got to do is win a couple races Specifically, we've got to win five races and then I'll be able to basically play like the boss battle uh, Against Baron which is blacklist number 10 So I'm gonna go to race events and I basically need to complete five of these races So let's see um, Speed trap I think those are a little easier. It's only 2.7 miles, so we're going to do that. Void King says, oh man, I only have 66 Xbox 360 games in my collection. I have a long grind to get to 1300. Yeah, it's a, it's a long grind, dude, for sure. It's There's a lot of games on the Xbox 360, games that you couldn't even imagine. You'd be like, they made this game on Xbox 360? Okay, I might have to take a little break from looking at the chat because I'm actually racing now. This game is like super nostalgic though. I remember playing it on the original Xbox and then I remember the 360 came out and I beat it again on the Xbox 360. And that was, I don't, I don't want to say that was my first 1000 gamer score on my old profile because it wasn't. I think the first 1000 gamer score I got on my profile that I have on my profile that I had when I was a kid. Unfortunately, I lost that profile. But I think my first 1,000 gamer score was X-Men. Like, the movie that was related to uh, X-Men or the game that was related to the movie X-Men 2. It was, or no, I think it was X-Men 3, honestly. It was basically an X-Men game that had, like, a movie tie-in game. I think the game is called, like, uh... X-Men, the movie, the game, something like that. It's a game where like part of it you play as Wolverine, part of it you play as Nightcrawler, and part of it you play as uh, Iceman, I think, if I remember correctly. Good thing I do not need to get first place in this race, I just need to like go past the checkpoints the fastest. So, I won that race, which that's good. Because I'm not good at multitasking like this. Or at least I didn't think so. so let's see. Uh, Punisher Gaming World says right now on Xbox, I've been playing Glass Masquerade a lot. Um, I'm is that? I think that's that puzzle game, right? Where you put together uh, like puzzle pieces of different like glass art. I think I know what you're talking about. I think I started the first one and I never finished it, honestly. 
Upshift Eddie says, you talk about racing games, like Need for Speed games are amazing, but what do you think of Midnight Club games? Midnight Club 2 was amazing. I actually made a short uh, recently on Midnight Club Dub Edition, and so you guys should check that out. Um, Jay Hacha, I appreciate uh, you subscribing. But yeah, I made a short about uh, Midnight Club Dub Edition, and uh, I made one about Need for Speed Underground and Need for Speed Underground 2 as well. But Dub Edition, I have some great memories with Dub Edition. That game had a great soundtrack, great customization, and um, if I remember correctly, you could ride motorcycles, which was a big difference. And then also, they had like slow motion. So you could activate uh, slow motion, and uh, I think they did that before this game released, which also I think has slow motion. Uh, Bark Wolfington says Midnight Club Double Edition was my favorite. Uh, Punisher Gaming World says Xbox Origins, yes. Cool, so we're gonna get back to the racing. We need four more races. That one was nice and quick. Luckily, I did it on my first try. All right, so we have a circuit that's seven miles. I'm gonna skip the circuits. If you're trying to breeze through this game, if you guys happen to play it for achievements, um, I'm assuming most of you guys have already played this game for achievements, but if you haven't, uh, if you wanna breeze through it the fastest, use the bounty, the bus trick, or the bus stop trick that I showed you. And then for uh, milestones, try to use the speed traps, because those are the easiest milestones. And for races, skip the circuits, because those are multiple laps and you don't have to do this. You only need to do five of these races. You don't need to do all of them. So we're going to skip the circuit because multiple laps, I ain't got time for that. I'd rather do a sprint or a toll booth. Lap knockouts also have uh, laps, so we'll try to avoid those. I think I could pull it off with this one, this toll booth, these sprints, and this toll booth. So we're going to avoid the lap knockouts and the circuit, which have laps. Sometimes there's drag races. Uh, similar to like the drag racing that they had in the Need for Speed Underground games. I was hoping I was gonna be able to show you guys a drag race Maybe in the that in the next blacklist uh, chapter But let's see. What's the shortest one? 6.4, 3.2, 6.1 miles 5.8. Okay, this is the shortest one. We'll start with this one Let's see Bark Wolfington, a little top name. <laughs> Upshift Eddie says, Final race with Razor was a pain in my ass back in the day. I almost threw my controller through my window. Yeah. The it's crazy because like at the time they had the, these like special cutscenes where they were like high contrast, super blurry, but they were basically like real life footage that they filmed and they try to make it look like video game graphics. They were basically just like uh, uh, FMV cutscenes. And at the time, it felt like, oh my god, these are the best graphics out. But they're just like uniquely edited uh, film footage. But I love the art style in here. Like I said, the high contrast, like blurry cutscenes. It's cool because it made the game feel alive for the time uh, that it released. Watch. Oh damn it, I missed that. I was about to say, hey, check out this shortcut, and I messed up like right before the shortcut. That's the other cool thing, is like racing games these days don't have shortcuts. Like you guys remember when racing games had shortcuts and like that's that's like what would give you the edge in the game is like when you do all the shortcuts. That was the difference between like winning the race and losing the race was if you knew the shortcuts or not. That's like good old arcade racing right there. They don't really do that anymore. I'm driving so trash right now, you guys. I'm so sorry. I might have to redo this, this one. It's it's also, I don't want to like make excuses, but right now, like I'm looking at my capture software. I'm not actually like on the same input on my TV as my 360. So I have no idea if there's like a little bit of lag here, or if I just I'm doing trash right now. Let's see if I can catch up. 80%. I'm gonna have to redo this race. But yeah, this game actually does get a little hard towards the end. You have to make sure that you're like uh, constantly upgrading your car. Aw, oh, damn it. 
I was about to get that shortcut and try to win the race. All right, we're gonna have to restart this one. Let's see what's up with the chat. Uh, Void King says, be warned, some Xbox 360 games are online only. So when the servers go dead, so does the game. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of servers have been going down on 360 games. Upshift Day says, that damn wall almost ended you. I think it did, because I lost the race. Bar Bark Wolfington says, those burnout games had lots of shortcuts. Burnout, those games were awesome as well. They should bring back Burnout. Um, I didn't like Paradise as much as like Burnout 3, like the classic Burnout games, but I'd take any type of Burnout, honestly. Jay Hacha says, Chivo, I want to thank you. I'm close to 700,000 because of your videos. Keep up the content. Keep the content coming, my friend. I appreciate the support, guys. I truly do. I'm glad to see that I've been able to help some of you guys. It's really cool. All right. Let's see here. Restarting the race. Got to focus a little bit. Let me know if you guys are enjoying the stream. Do you guys think I should stream more? Right now, I basically do it every 100,000 gamer score, so it's like a rare stream, like every three months or so, something like that. But, uh, you know, with enough convincing, maybe I would start streaming. I think there's a slow motion button, but honestly, I have no idea which one's slow motion. Last time I played this game was a few days ago. Alright, I managed to get into the shortcut without crashing. You know what, I kind of feel like that shortcut actually costed me some time compared to going the regular way. I don't know if you guys can relate but back with these old need for speed games like i'm literally not even pressing the brake at all that's probably part of the reason why I, I lost the last one but like in these old need for speed games you could like crash into cars and scrape the corners so hard like you were constantly just holding the gas all the way down and pressing nitrous but watch it's gonna bite me in the ass right now it works most of the time in these games. Just pedal to the metal. Like right there. Paying off. Pass this one more guy. Come on. Got him. Got him. Alright. Let's see. What's up, chat? Alright, Upshift Eddie, that one moon game that you posted got me the easiest 1,000 gamer score. Thanks, bro. One moon game? I have no idea which moon game you're talking about. Maybe the NASA one? Not too sure. Horseflip Wolf says, hey bud, congratulations for reaching 800,000 gamer score. I appreciate it. Aw, oh, man. I was about to freaking go on the next race, but here I go. I have police chasing me. So you guys get to see a, a pursuit. Haven't showed you guys a pursuit yet. Um, I'm gonna show you guys something cool actually. So, uh, well, they already lost me. That sucks. Oh, actually, they're behind me. Okay. So in this game, when you're getting chased by the cops, there's these little icons on your GPS, the triangles, and if you go to those, uh, they're basically like hazards. So if you crash into them they'll collapse on and basically take out the police officers so you can like run into a gas station or some scaffolding or whatever the case is I'm gonna try to find one right now and we'll take out some of these cops this game had the best police chasing that's for sure I, I love Need for Speed Underground 1 and 2 but this game had the best police chasing for sure Where's the hazard at? Okay, it's in the gas station. Dang it. I'm not going fast enough. Great, great. Okay.
Okay, so one thing I didn't mention is you need to be going fast enough to crash into these things. Wow, they're, they're about to box me in. I'm busted. I'm busted. Aw, oh, damn it. Alright, that's not good. I don't think I have any more get out of jail free cards either. You just gotta watch this chick beat you up and arrest you. Alright, let's see, let's see. Bark Whippington says, bro, that Subi sounds like a Honda LMAO. I know, I, I gotta admit, it's kind of stock right now. I still need to upgrade it a little bit. It's like the first car I actually bought in the game. Okay, so I gotta pay for my car to get it back. 4,500 bucks to get my car back. And it has a strike on it. You guys see those strikes? Three strikes and you're out. They'll take your car. No matter how much money you've invested or how much you've upgraded it. Upshift Eddie says space science. Yeah, I thought it was the NASA one that you were talking about. J Hatch says, I don't know if you remember a game that you played on your channel called Aurabot. I played it and never got any of the achievements from the game. I was wondering if it's some sort of glitch. I have no idea. I don't even remember the name of that game, actually. And I'm usually pretty good at remembering the name of all these uh, easy achievement games, but I don't remember that one. I'd have to see, like, the cover art or something like that. Okay, so real quick, before I jump in another race, I feel like I owe it to you guys to go into the shop and show you guys some customization. Because that's, like, you know... The best part about these Need for Speed games is the customization, I think. Drew Savage says, I wish EA remastered uh, or remade Need for Speed Underground 1 and 2. I feel you, bro. I feel you. Need for Speed Underground 2 is the best. Okay, so let's talk customization in this game. You can customize parts, performance, or visual. So visual is like paint, vinyls, rim paint, window tint decals uh, numbers custom gauges and performance you can upgrade your engine transmission suspension nitrous tires brakes turbo and for parts you can upgrade your body kit your spoiler your rim uh, rims sorry uh, hoods and roof roof scoops so let's see how much money do I got in this game right now? I don't think I could see because I think I'm covering it up. So let's see. What should I do? Should I paint it? What color should I paint it? I'll let you guys choose the color of my car. Let's see. I got to go to visual paint. And let's see. There's metallic, custom, or gloss. So these are like paralescent colors or something like that okay so cash i have 5950 guys so should i paint it a weird color should i paint it gloss metallic let me know uh bark wolfington says dude i would turn off my xbox every time i got pulled over lol I know, like, it's that risky in this game. Like, especially if your car is on three strikes, you're about to get repoed, you know, or if you're in a blacklist race and you have your pink slip up for grabs. Like, um, another uh, scenario where I remember restarting the game is after you beat the blacklist uh, character, you get to choose, like, from random tiles, and there's a chance that you'll get their pink slip. I remember like not getting the pink slip and then like turning the Xbox off and on to try to get their pink slip. Uh, it just depends on the blacklist. Some of them, some of them have cool cars. Some of them have cars I really don't care for. Uh, Merciless Wolf says, "I love your videos. May have been watching your content for a long time now. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, thank you for your support." Uh, Demzy says, "Thanks for all your guides. I appreciate the support, Demzy." Upshift Eddie says, I'm going to share you on all of my social media, bro. Hopefully, we can get you to 30K. I appreciate it, man. Um, subscribers now, we're like at like 23,000. I, I, on average, I get like like 500 a month uh, subscribers. But which since I started posting shorts in the last month, I actually got like 800 subscribers. So the subscribers spiked a little bit because of the shorts. 
Upshift Eddie says, oh, actually, I just read that one. Uh, Bark Wolfington says, paint it orange. Demzy says, real men wear pink. Uh, Bark Wolfington says, like the one in Fast and Furious. I'd have to look at a reference photo. Anybody else have a vote on what color I should paint this car? Should we murder it out? All black. I'm surprised they don't have any matte. It's just gloss, metallic, or custom. Or maybe the matte black's in here in the custom. Let's see. I kind of like this red one right here. Uh, where is it at? Right here. I feel like I used that back in the day on one of my cars, customizing in this game. All right. Uh, Upshift Eddie says Paralescent Orange. Linton says Pink. Uh, let's see what the Paralescent Orange looks like. Um, like that, or... I think the orange would be, yeah, probably like this one or this one or this one. I think I want to try to go matte black. I think this is matte black right here. I feel like that's kind of a dick move though, right? I told you guys I was going to let you choose. So, chat. Paralescent orange or pink. Pink has two votes. Paralescent orange or orange has two votes, I think. I'd prefer not to paint my car pink. Let me tell you, please. Let's uh get some votes for matte black. All right, we're doing orange. I think uh, out of all of them, I think this one looks all right. So, all right, someone else said orange. We're doing orange, got another orange, actually pink. <laughs> I'm already purchasing the orange. So let's go ahead and confirm that. We got pearlescent orange, all right. I know you guys probably want to see me like customize it and make it look cool, but we need to make this thing go a little bit faster. So let's look at the engine. I have, I'm maxed out on the engine. Uh, the next uh, one up is locked. It says I have to beat blacklist number seven to unlock this engine. So I'm, it's basically as fast as I can make it engine wise. Uh, transmission, I have opportunity to upgrade it. Suspension, I have opportunity to upgrade it. Nitrous, I have an opportunity. Nope, that one's maxed out. Uh, tires, let's see. Uh, tires, I have an opportunity to upgrade it. Brakes, I don't even use my brakes. Why would I upgrade them? I don't even use them. Pedal to the metal all the time. Nitrous, scrape the corners. You guys already know. Uh, turbo already maxed out. So all the stuff that makes my car fast, pretty much maxed out. Um, I guess we could just upgrade the transmission. Like uh, that'll like uh, make it a little bit faster. Oh man, it's twelve thousand. I even got enough for that. I got enough for the cheaper one. Got to start somewhere. Or actually, I don't. I'm 400 short. 350 short. Damn. All right, guys. So we're just going to uh, take our paint job. We're going to move on, try to make some more money. And uh, come back when we have enough saved up to get some good upgrades. Okay, so we're going to go back to a race. And uh, I think we need like three more races or something like that, and then we can face the blacklist uh, character. So let's see, we need five races, and we have two of them. So let's go ahead and do this other sprint. This one's actually long, 6.4 miles, but it's basically a straight shot, no laps. So let's see. Love Ship Eddie says, No wonder you crashed so much, Savage. Who needs and then Bar Barkley says who needs brakes when you have walls? Exactly. I think like a couple weeks ago there was some, some NASCAR driver or something like that that like passed some other drivers scraping the wall on a turn. And he like referenced Need for Speed. He's like, I did it uh, in Need for Speed growing up, so I thought it would work in real life. 
Did anybody uh, hear about that or see that? I was laughing so hard. I was like, that's how I play Need for Speed. It's because, you know, these games, like, if you scrape against the corner like that, or like this, like, it doesn't really slow you down that much. Compared to, like, breaking, you know? The only thing that would convince me to use break in this game would be to, like, drift cool. But, like, I don't know. Aw, oh, dang, see? I'm talking shit, that's why... That's why I just got hit with some karma right now, because I wasn't using my break. <laughs> uh, bad. But yeah, um, drifting's cool, but like, honestly, your car drifts when uh, you're not using your brake anyway. You just gotta let off the gas a little bit. If you let off the gas in the corner, your car will drift. All right, I may have to upgrade my car because these cars are just way faster than me right now. It's because I had saved up some money, but I used it to buy the Supra. So the Supra has like one upgrade on it. I think I upgraded the engine and the nitrous. Okay, great. We have police. Good thing I'm like barely like 50% done with this race I still have a chance to try to catch up the second half but I really gotta start catching up right now I do need a freaking shortcut I need like five shortcuts and I need my freaking opponents to crash or something like that see part of the problem is I'm trying to read the chat and race at the same time I don't know how these streamers do it, like, engage with the chat and play the game at the same time, like, especially in a racing game, shit's hard. Oh, wow. I, you know what, I need to be looking on the lower left-hand corner at this uh, GPS so I can anticipate some of these turns, but that's really where I'm messing up. I pretty much need to restart this, so... I'm going to restart this one, guys. I'm sorry for wasting your time on that one. Um, let's see. Upshift Eddie says, no wonder you crashed so much. Oh, actually, I already read that. Sorry. Uh, Merciless Wolf says, I love backwards compatibility. Me too. But unfortunately, this game isn't backwards compatible. You need an Xbox 360 to play this one. All right. I need to uh, defeat two Blacklist members, guys. So... I still gotta do like a whole other chapter after this, so hopefully you guys uh, join our fans tonight or are willing to hang out because I'm nearing the end of this uh, Blacklist chapter. We're gonna be facing him like after two races or so, but then um, I need one last achievement, which is going to be for defeating the next Blacklist member. And after I defeat that one. I'll get the achievement for that, and that will put me right at 800,000 gamer score. So, that is the plan. Dang, man. I really should use my break. I'm not taking this shortcut anymore, because honestly, that shortcut is a big waste of time. Short is a big waste of time. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Alright. See, thank God I was able to crash in, into uh, that thing right there because otherwise it would have stopped me dead in my tracks. Alright, we're in first place. We just need to keep this up. I need to make sure I keep an eye out on the GPS in the lower left hand corner. Anticipate these turns. Make sure I don't crash into anything. Dang it, I used my brake. Look at I used my brake and they all freaking pass me, man. Alright, let's see. Police. 
out of my way. Get out of my way. Alright. Dang it, man. Ran into those barrels. See, I could take that shortcut, but honestly, I don't think that shortcut's gonna do anything for me either. Like, the shortcuts in this race are trash. Some of them, some of the shortcuts in the game are pretty good, but some of them not so much. Like that one saved me a little bit on that turn because that's a sharp corner right there. Alright, we're still in it. We're still in it this time. Let's see. Past this Lancer right here. Slow motion. Slow motion. Oh, come on. This is getting intense, guys. Probably should have uh, slowed down a little bit right there. Those shortcuts are tempting me, but I don't want to freaking crash into a freaking wall trying to get into a shortcut. I almost just did it right there. It's getting intense. Yes. Yes. All right. No more wasting time. So with these, I believe it times you uh, every time you pass a toll booth. I think it's kind of like the same as the speed trap one. Straight shot, no laps, a lot easier than doing one of the circuits that are going to require you to do multiple laps. Luckily in this one, we aren't uh, racing anybody. So I just have to make sure I don't crash. So I think I'm like 15 seconds ahead of where I need to be. That's pretty good. Alright. That's the next toll booth. We're 32% done with this race. It shows in the upper right hand corner, which is cool. So you have an idea of how far you are. I gotta admit, I'm pretty spoiled playing Forza because I'm used to being able to rewind every time I crash. And like, you know, there's no rewinding in this game. Back in the day when you're playing games like this, like, you're one crash away from losing. Like, if you crash, it's all over. Like, a lot of the times it was hard to catch up, you know, once you crashed. Uh, especially if you went to like a dead stop, the AI would pretty much dust you. So, you know. Back in the day, before we had these rewind features in racing games, it was all or nothing. I was so disappointed when they made another Most Wanted. They even called it the same damn thing. And the game was not nearly as good as this game. It wasn't even similar at all. I didn't have a blacklist or anything like that. I don't even know why they called that game Need for Speed Most Wanted. Damn it. That crash really slowed me down. Did any of you guys enjoy that second Most Wanted? I think it was a disgrace to the name. I don't understand why they just don't remake Underground 1 and 2 or just make Underground 3. Like, I don't know if they're just naive to the fact that, like, everybody loves these games. But, like, you look anywhere on the internet, everybody's talking about Need for Speed Underground, Need for Speed Underground 2, Need for Speed Most Wanted. Like, 
they had people at EA that were wise. They, you know, remake these games or bring them back or make sequels. But who knows? I'm gonna try to get her to watch me play it. See if uh, she gets scared at all. All right, let's see. This is the last race. Um, hopefully I win it, and then we can finally get to facing one of these Blacklist characters. I think eventually I'll, I'll upload some videos for this game. I'm definitely gonna do an episode of Classic Completions. I might do a video of like all 15 Blacklist races. I don't know if I'm gonna upload like my full footage of me beating the whole game. Although I have recorded everything up until now. Um, but I feel like I'm gonna cut out like all the races and like the in-between stuff and probably just upload the blacklist races. Just in case anybody wants to go watch these videos for some nostalgia. Cause you know, you don't really need a guide or anything like that. They use like some gameplay videos. But yeah, this will be the next episode of Classic Completions. confusing because I have uh, like you know my uh, camera or green screen whatever you want to call it right in front of my speedometer which shows how much nitrous I have left so I'm not able to see how much nitrous I have left because I'm covering it right here <laughs> all right the cops are trying to get me now probably stay on my tail even until after the race like if you complete a race and you're being chased by cops you have to lose the cops after the race they don't automatically uh go away after the race so hopefully i can lose them otherwise i'm going to have to try to go to a cool down spot or hit one of the hazard areas Seventy-eight percent. Dang, that cop came out of nowhere. Wow. Quick, right, and this should be the end of it. They got it. Oh, what? Man, that psyched me out on the GPS. I thought that was the last one, but that was not. I should have been looking in the upper right hand corner. For 94%, one more checkpoint. <laughs> oh man, good old shortcuts. Alright, let's see, back to the chat. Sensei, what's up, my dude? Says, what's up, Chivo? Thanks for tuning in, bro. I appreciate it. Um. Froggy T writes is how long have you been pushing towards 800,000 score? Um, well, let's see. I started this profile when I started my YouTube channel, and that was like three years ago. I don't know, something like that. Three years or 800,000. All right, and let's see. Oh dang, I didn't even, I forgot I'm getting chased. I was like trying to like go into my menu and go to the blacklist race, but I forgot I was getting chased. Alright, getting distracted. We gotta lose these cops. I 
I have a hazard coming up right here somewhere. Aw, oh, dang it, it was that boat. I missed it. There's another one over here somewhere. Is this a gas station? Okay, there we go. Alright, so I hit the hazard. Gas station's gonna collapse on the police, and hopefully I can escape. Alright, we're evading. And then I gotta find a cooldown area. They're all behind me where the police are at. We'll go down this shortcut and try to chill over here. Alright, cool, we escape. Just like that. Got a little bit of bounty too. Let's see. I got a text on my singular phone. Alright. You got that Baron, All right. guy's, attention. You got that Baron guy's attention. Wait. He's dying to race you. Don't wait. Alright, Baron. I'm about to eliminate you off the blacklist, bro. Okay, so as you guys see, it says challenge rival now. So we've done all of the requirements and now we can play the next blacklist race it's actually races i think each blacklist uh boss has two races so we got to do a sprint and then we got to do a drag race which is cool because i haven't showed you guys a drag race yet all right let's do this we're gonna see a cool cutscene. Cutscenes i was talking about earlier Dang, I'm about to jack his car. Hopefully I can get the pink slip. I'll let you guys choose the tile at the end. See if you guys can get me his car. He went under the semi, Fast and the Furious style. <laughs> you can actually do that in this game. I've done that on accident. Go through the, like, the semi tires. cards on the line when you play these blacklist bosses it's pink slip so you can lose your car I'm not planning on it it appears my car is way faster anyway I want jinx myself but As he starts to catch up to me out of nowhere. You know what? I think that was a shortcut. I just missed that shortcut. I think that right there was like a valuable shortcut. It could have saved me this whole loop right here. on the edges scraping on the turns pedal of the metal Let's see I appreciate you guys tuning in this late at least where I'm at it's like midnight now so I appreciate it Because when you got kids, like, you just gotta, like, make it work. During the day, my son, you know, constantly wants me and wants to sit on my lap and stuff. So, to do the stream, I had to wait until he was settled down, go to sleep with his mom, so I can try to finally get this stream done. I've been trying to do it for, like, a month. Dang, I'm about to get past because I'm not using my brake. Useless one. Almost 
it's there. Alright, one one race down. We just got one more left uh, for this blacklist member. And it's a it's a drag race too, so hopefully this should be quick. Um, although we may have to restart it a few times because these are a little bit tricky. Because you don't control your car normally in, in these drag races. You just switch lanes. So it's more like left, right, left, right to try to dodge traffic. Meanwhile, making sure that you shift at the correct time. So I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. And I will check on the chat after this. It's game time. I gotta take this seriously. Focus in on taking out this blacklist guy. I accidentally shifted twice. Alright, we're about to lose that, so I'm going to restart it. Luckily, we can restart it without penalty, so that's good. It's because I accidentally double shifted in the beginning. Wow. It's a little bit tricky. All right, way better that time. That was perfect. All right, cool. So that's drag racing. They had the same drag racing right there that they did in Need for Speed Underground, which was cool. Okay. So we defeated Baron. And we got a good old Xbox 360 achievement notification. 25G, which means we're exactly 25G away from 800,000 gamer score. I see one more achievement in this game. Uh, basically just eliminating the next blacklist member and we should be good to go real quick let's see what's up with the chat master dale 115 i have this game on 360 need for speed most wanted but it doesn't work anymore that's sad man uh you can probably take that disc over to like a local game store and they could probably like buff out the scratches and resurface it so hopefully you can play it again uh, Merciless Wolf says, I've been achievement hunting for 10 years and I love achievements. Awesome. I've been achievement hunting ever since the 360 came out. However, I had a different profile when I was younger. And when I started a YouTube channel, I just decided to start from scratch. Because at, at the end of the day, my goal was to have guides for every single achievement uh, or every single guides for every single game on my profile. Sorry. Shlomo uh, Goober Apple says, Hey, mate, cheers for the help with a few games over the years. I appreciate your support, man. Bark Wolfington says, Yeah, it's kind of late. It's all good. I appreciate it, man. Tuning in so late. I have no idea what time it is where you are, but more than likely it's late, especially if you're in the United States. Um, if you're like, uh, let's see, on the East Coast, it's like 2 a.m., 2.14 uh, here in Arizona, it's midnight, 1214. And if you're in California or on the West Coast, it may even be 1114. If you're in Europe, it's probably just in the morning. So anyway, back to the game, guys. So after you eliminate somebody or beat somebody in the blacklist, you get to choose two of these. Two out of the six. So... You can choose a unique performance upgrade. You could choose a unique part upgrade. Um, there's actually two of those. And then there's these mystery ones, which either have cash bonuses, a get out of jail pass, an extra impound strike marker, uh, release marker, or the pink slip for the rival's car. Now, I wanna try to win the pink slip for the rival's car. And that should be in one of these. So, I got 
two chances to get this pink slip. So what do you guys think? You guys think I should pick middle, left, or right? I need you guys to get me this pink slip because my Supra is just not doing it. it it's going to get harder and the Supra ain't going to last that long. Bark Wolfington says, yeah, it's 11-14 here in Washington State. Shlomo Gubernapple says, currently 5.14 p.m. in Australia. That's cool. Another supporter from Australia. I had somebody else earlier from Australia. Density says, hello from Switzerland. Have fun hunting. I reached 1 million G from or two months ago. It's 8.15 in Switzerland. I appreciate the support all the way from Switzerland. I got fans all over. It's cool to see Switzerland, Australia, France. We got people from all over the world right now. Um, City Slicker, uh, 1996 says one in two. Uh, Void King says left. Shlomo says middle. Merciless Wolf says hello from Australia. Victoria Stevens says 7:14 a.m. here. In the UK, your guides have helped me get 575k gamer score. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, Victoria. The Cheshire Cat says it's 7.17 a.m. in the UK. Cool. Well, hopefully this is a cool morning surprise for you guys in Europe or in the UK. Get to wake up and see a random stream from hopefully your favorite achievement YouTuber. All right. So let's see. Votes. Someone said one and two, someone said middle, and someone said left. So left has multiple votes. So we're going to go open the left. We got the pink slip on the first try, guys. We got the pink slip, which means we get the car. Sweet. Okay. Now that we got the pink slip, we have one more chance. I don't care about the impound markers, the get out of jail free cards. I care about making my car faster. So I'm going to get a unique performance upgrade. So we can get a special upgrade for this new car that we got. We're going to have to move on from the Supra. Come on. Give me a cutscene. We need a cutscene. Next rival. Blacklist number nine. Eugene James. Earl. Bio. This guy hails from the lower east side of Rockport but now rides on the coast. He's a big fan of imports and goes out of his way to take on the big blocks. Strength. Sprint races. He drives a Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 8. Lancers are actually pretty dope. Earl. What an intimidating name. Alright. We got a text message on our singular cell phone device. From Mia. Says, hey, you cracked the top 10. I had no idea the setup on that coast went this deep. Keep up the good work. I'll be in touch later. Okay. Uh, chat says, nice job, bro. Hell yeah. Mark Wilmington says, yeah, engine mods. Yeah, so let's um, upgrade our car. I don't know if we need to switch the car first. I don't think I could do that in the garage. Uh, so let's go, let's do this. We're gonna go start. We're gonna go jump to safe house. We're gonna switch our car. Probably redo the paint job or whatever because I don't really like the flames on this dude's 350Z that we got. So car select. The car I started off with was this IS300 right here. And then I had gotten, uh pink slip for this golf gti and then i went and bought my own supra and then now oh why did i think he had a 350z it's a cayman s okay well this is what we're using now so we're gonna go to free roam and then we're gonna drive to the shop and uh see what special upgrade we got
It's so funny, the flames in the car. All right, let's see here. Okay, so we gotta go to the back room is where you get your special parts. Ooh, okay, so we ended up with a special suspension. I would have preferred an engine or turbo, but I'll take it. We got a special suspension on our new car. Merciless, Merciless Wolf says, I added you on Xbox, Chivo. Thanks for helping me reach 700k. I don't know why it's cut off. I think it says, helping me reach 700kg this month, mate. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for the support, guys, for real. All right, so let's see. We got to change what this car looks like, right? I don't want the flames. I'm about to just take the vinyls off. For vinyls, you have flame, tribal, stripe, race flag, national flag, body, unique, contest winners. So we'll go stock. And then let's go to paint. Should we just keep it black? I wanted to do the la the last one matte black. So I'm just gonna go matte black, okay guys? Let's go matte black. And then um, I wasn't say let's put the rest into performance, but I, I feel like we need a body kit, right? At least body kit. Let's see what we got for body kits. Oh, it already has a body kit on it, but let's see what the options were. So that's stock. That's body kit one, body kit two, body kit three. I kind of like the second one. But I don't know, like if I already have one on, I probably shouldn't even waste my money on that. It's hard to it's hard to tell because the matte black with like the lighting, it's hard to tell. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna keep it like that. We're gonna put it into performance. My bad guys. Let's see. First and foremost, I need to make sure this thing has nitrous. I'm gonna do second level nitrous. Twelve thousand five hundred. Dang. That's some, that's some expensive nitrous right there. Let's see, engine. Okay, it's locked. We need to do blacklist seven to get the next engine upgrade. What about turbo? Turbo is locked as well. Let's try transmission also locked at the next step we already got suspension um i guess we could do tires also maxed out okay so i guess this is pretty much as much as we can max out this car right now let's see drew savage says that guy ferrari flavor town flames paint job though <laughs> i know huh I feel like the flames are like so outdated. Like when I was younger, I thought flames on a car was so cool. And now it's just like, I don't know why we like that. Someone else says, hi, what's up chat? All right, so next, let's see. I'm one achievement away from 800,000 gamer score, guys. We're going to uh, get this achievement by defeating this guy right here. We gotta defeat Earl. Earl is the only thing between me and 800,000 gamer score. So to defeat Earl, we need to do three different things. We need to win five races, four milestones, and 790,000 bounty. That's a lot more bounty. Luckily, we got the bus trick. I'm about to use that to get some bounty. So I'm gonna start off with that. So we're gonna go to bounty. We're gonna pick the first location. We're gonna get some free bounty here. I'll probably uh, upload like a modern guide for this. I think this is one of the videos I make about this game. Cause I'll probably upload like a quick like two minute video showing how to do the bounty trick. I definitely didn't come up with this. This is like a well-known trick. But a lot of the videos on this are like super old. 
nobody really explained like on how to get to, to this exact location. And you can shortcut here by pressing that like exact down to checkpoint. Okay, so I'm gonna go like a little bit towards the edge. Because uh, your pursuit will last a little bit longer if they can see you. So we're just gonna chill right here. I'll uh, engage with the chat a little bit. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, we're gonna build up some bounty. Because we need 790,000 bounty to, to face Earl. So we're gonna need to uh, chill here for a while. Because I only have like 500,000. So I, I need a lot. Like 200,000 bounty. 300,000 bounty. Merciless, Merciless Wolf says, I did play Need for Speed Rivals a few years ago on Xbox One. I did play that one. I think I actually beat that one too. And uh, not on this profile, but I did like Rivals. Rivals wasn't bad. There's a lot of meh uh, Need for Speed games. Like Need for Speed to Run, Need for Speed Undercover, all cool Need for Speed games. They had cool campaigns, but none of them compare to Need for Speed Underground, Need for Speed Underground 2, or Need for Speed Most Wanted. Those three, hands down the best. At least in my opinion. They're the best customization. They all, like, are good for their own reasons. This one had the best, like, pursuit uh, and, like, cop mechanics. This one also had slow motion. Um, they had, like, a, a lot more uh, consequences, which made this game a lot more intense because you were able to lose your car and um, you can only get caught by the cops three times or you lose it or you can lose your pink slip to black blacklist members things like that it makes it a little more intense because you know you can invest a lot into a car upgrading it and stuff like that and it can just get taken away or you can lose it because uh, you know you got caught by the cops three times or something like that so I think that's like part of the reason people like this game Let's see, bounty. We're barely at 4,100. This is probably gonna take a while, guys. City Slicker 1996 says, have you ever played Carbon? Probably my favorite Need for Speed. I thought Carbon was all right. Carbon had like uh, cool uh, like drifting mechanics that was a bit different. Uh, that's the one thing I remember about Carbon is they had really cool drifting. Mark Wilkinson says, so you have any trophy videos coming up? Uh, not necessarily trophies. I have some achievement guides coming up that uh, may or may not be on PlayStation where you can also use them as trophy guides. But definitely some more guides are on the way. I know you guys have been asking in the comments and stuff like that for guides or where have I been? Am I still making guides? All this stuff. I've been making all these shorts. And uh, I was saying earlier in the stream, I'm just trying to build up a catalog of short form content. So. I can kind of make everybody happy. I can have some videos for the people with short attention spans and that love the vertical short form content. And I have some videos for the people that want guides and regular style YouTube videos. So, yeah, just like I said, trying to make everybody happy. Um, you freaking tool says, What's up? What's up, man? Thanks for tuning into the stream. I appreciate the support. Let's see, so far we got 8,100 bounty. Slowly but surely, we will get to 790,000. Probably gonna take a while, but it'd take even longer if we were trying to do these pursuits manually, honestly. What else is up, guys? You guys got any questions or anything like that? Now's the time to drink something. Hold on, let me grab a water bottle. What do you guys think of the question? about to freaking cool down right here. These cops need to see me. Let's see. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Wow. The handling on this came in is not very good. I could have let the pursuit end right there, but I'm trying to rack up more bounty than that. That's why I drove down there and then drove back up here. Good old bus station trick. 
Froggy T says, what's the weirdest game you've played for gamers for? I've played a lot of weird games. I don't weird. I have to think about it. Um, I've definitely played a lot of questionable games for gamers for, that's for sure. Weird, it'd probably have to be probably some weird visual novel or something like that. Like that visual novel where all the characters were like stock photos of dogs. A she it was like a Shiba Inu uh, game, something like that. A game that you know, probably nobody really should play. Unless you want achievements. Marcellus Wolf says, Hey Chiba, have you played Midnight Club Street Racing? Definitely have. I played the second one and Midnight Club Dub Edition. Recently, I got a copy of Midnight Club Dub Edition on my original Xbox. I actually got it for a really good deal. I was in San Diego visiting some family, and I found this dude on OfferUp that was selling his original Xbox games, and I got like eight games for 20 bucks, something like that, and uh, that had actually included that game. Uh, Midnight Club Dub Edition. Uh, specifically, it was the remix version, and uh, that version is actually pretty expensive and pretty rare. Uh, there's actually not a black label version of the remix one, there's only a platinum hits version of the remix version. And the remix version has like a whole extra city, has like almost 20 different uh, additional cars, and uh, a bunch of extra songs in the soundtrack. The remix version is actually really cool, it has a lot of extra stuff. You freaking tool says, which was the hardest game you 100%? Um, I'm sure if you look at my profile, you'll find that a lot of the games are easy, 1,000 gamer scores. However, I do have some difficult ones sprinkled in there. Um, like I completed Forza Horizon uh, 5 this last year. I completed uh, what was it, Roller Champions? I think it was the online uh, rollerblading sports game by Ubisoft. I think it's called Roller Champions. I put uh, that, that was the game I put the most hours into last year. And uh, there's not a lot of people that have a full 1,000 gamer score in that game. I spent a lot of time playing it, but it's because I found that one oddly enjoyable. Um, I don't think a lot of people have tried it or given it a chance, but that game has a lot of potential. If it can get like some good marketing and some good hype and stuff like that, it's a really fun uh, little game. It's, it's hard to describe. Like, if you ever watched the movie uh, Road to El Dorado, and uh, when they're in like the, the ancient city and they're playing that game and like throwing the ball into that like uh, circle on the wall, kind of like kind of like a basketball hoop except it's sideways. Uh, that's kind of like what Roller Champions is. Is uh, you're throwing the ball into this pool that's like on the side of the wall. But you have to do a lap around before you throw the ball. In. Anyway, I'm going on a rant about uh, Roller Champions now because you asked me what's my hardest uh, completion. Froggy T writes, says, how big is your collection of physical games? Um, I'm not too sure. I'd have to check my app. Let me see. Do you want to know the exact number? Give me a sec. Let's see. So after I got a couple hundred games, one of my friends told me about this app called Game Eye. I highly recommend it if you collect retro games. And uh, basically it lets you log your inventory so you, you can tell which games you have. So when I'm out game hunting or at Goodwill and I see a game that I don't think I have, I can check like, hey, do I have this game already? And so let's see. It also tells you how much your games are worth. It like connects directly to price charting and stuff like that. So right now I have 883 games. Uh, let's see, 92 are on the original Xbox. I have 704 on the Xbox 360. 32 copies of Xbox One physical games. Uh, 18 Nintendo 64 games, seven GameCube games, three Switch physical copies, one Wii game. 5 PC games, 1 Dreamcast game, 10 Genesis games, 1 PS1 game, and 9 PS2 games. So, yeah, 883 games, 700 of which, 704 of which are Xbox 360. Uh, Bark Whippington says, how many PlayStation games do you have? I think I just went over that. Um, 
I have a I have a lot more digital. Like I have a lot of like the cool PlayStation 4 and 5 exclusives, uh, but digital versions. Um, the only uh, time I ever get physical copies of PlayStation games is if I find a good deal at like Goodwill or something. Uh, let's see, Froggy T says that's a great idea. Yeah, Game Eye is awesome, man. It's free. I highly recommend downloading it. Um, I don't know if it's on iPhone. I have an Android and I use it, but yeah, it's called Game Eye. Merciless Wolf says congratulations for finishing Pod 2 on Veteran Difficulty. I finished it on Veteran a few years ago and it was pretty tough. You have to be very patient with it. Yeah, <laughs> that game definitely takes some patience and some random grenades. Because the the AI in that game they're ruthless with the random grenades. You'll be like getting getting rained on by grenades, and it's crazy because in that game like the AI they never run out of ammo, they never like run out of grenades. They can throw like ten grenades, and never run out. So yeah, to get the 1,000 G in that game, you got to beat it on better. Alright, let's see. So this pursuit has lasted nearly 11 minutes, and we have 44,000 bounty. I could end the pursuit, but honestly, I need a lot more bounty than that. I need like 200,000 bounty. SA says emoji to, to a piece emojis. Froggy T Wright says, I use GOG Galaxy to organize my digi digital game libraries, but I have something physical. But having something with physical games would be awesome. Yeah, Game Eye is really good. Like I said, when you have hundreds of games and you like really cl collecting a lot of retro games, uh, having an app like that really helps because then you don't end up buying duplicates on accident. The last thing you want to do is buy a uh, copy of a game that you already own. This wolf says it was worth it for 200G. Oh yeah, he talked about Call of Duty. Yeah. I uh, I made some videos on that game. I did the stream and then I uploaded like uh, my gameplay for all, the, all of the levels. I have so many lights in here right now, you guys can't see, but I have like one right here, one right here, and one right here. They're making this room so freaking hot. I'm gonna have to take off this sweater. I'm wearing my Need for Speed Underground 2 shirt right now. The best Need for Speed game. Alright, 54,000. But yeah, so. After this stream, I'm gonna get back to guides. Um, so if there's anything that you guys like want me to make a guide for, uh, let me know, like in the chat or in the comments. I'm gonna start off by trying to catch up on all the achievement updates. Um, so we'll see about that. Um, I think there's probably at least like 10 games that have additional 1,000 gamer score that I haven't covered. So first and foremost, I wanna get caught up on those games. And then I'll try to catch up on the Rattalakas and the East Asia Soft games and all of these other games. Um, and then after I'm caught up with like all of the easy games, then I'll probably uh, try to cover some bigger like Game Pass titles or like Goldeneye or Dead Space or something like that. But uh, right now I'm playing catch up. I was making shorts and all that stuff for you know like a full month, so I gotta really catch up on all these guides. Luckily, you know, January uh, didn't have any, like, huge releases, at least not until this week, so it wasn't too bad, but still, Rattleback is releasing games every week, East Asia Soft's releasing games every week, it was a lot. Froggy T. Wright says it's too bad retro game market prices have become so inflated. Yeah, very expensive, especially if you're trying to get GameCube or Nintendo 64. Those two specifically are getting very expensive to collect for. Uh, that's why I'm collecting Xbox and Xbox 360 because well, the games are still cheap right now. They've started to go up over like the last two years, but um, still way cheaper to collect Xbox 360 compared to GameCube. Um, like, like. 
the same game on GameCube will probably cost you three times as much. Like Need for Speed Underground 2, you can find that game for like 12, 13 bucks on Xbox. If you're trying to get that game on GameCube, I guarantee it's probably like 40 bucks. Mark Wolfington says, where did you even get that shirt from? I got it online. Mark Wolfington says, those old UFC Undisputed games were awesome. Not sure if you have any achievement guides for those. I have uh, two of the three games. I'm missing the third one, but um, I don't have any guides for those. I have a few guides for the last UFC game that they made uh, on Xbox One. Uh, but I didn't end up covering it, like I covered some of the other sports games like Madden. I think I only had like three or four videos for UFC. Alright, let's see, how much bounty do we have? 70,000. I still think we gotta wait. Because I need 790,000 and I have like, what, like 500,000 bounty? So we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Uh, rack up some more bounty. Have you played Bioshock? Definitely have. I beat the first one. Um, I, I kind of wanted to revisit it once they did like the remasters or whatever, but I never had a chance. But I did beat the first one. I never had a chance to beat the second one. But I beat the first one in high school. Slicker says fire shirt. Thanks, I appreciate it. So, um, while we're waiting, I'm gonna uh, give you guys two little sneak peeks on something that's gonna be coming in the achievement community. You probably haven't heard of. One, there's a game coming out like in the next two months that I'm gonna have an Easter egg in the game for. So, in the game, there will be a strategy guide that you have to find in the game and the strategy guide has like a picture of me on it and it says what up guys and if you find the strategy guide you'll unlock an achievement and not only that but when you interact with the guide in the game it's gonna play my sound effect this is a real life xbox game it's an indie game and you'll interact with this magazine and it's gonna say chivo guides and you'll unlock an achievement it's gonna be pretty sick and then, um, second thing, recently, I'm not gonna say which developer it is, or publisher, but there is a game that has 5,000 gamer score, and the developer told me that they're gonna update it to 6,000 gamer score. And I was so confused because I didn't understand, like, I, I read the rules myself, like, max is 5,000 gamer score, I don't understand how they would do that. But they told me the system let them, so they're going to try to uh, push it through and see if it gets approved. But I don't know. We may have a game with 6,000 gamer score. I don't know if they're going to be able to pull it off. But there's definitely a developer out there that's going to try uh, going past that 5,000 G. Um, I don't know for sure, but they were saying that they got some type of notification saying that games can be updated to 7,000 gamer score. Take this with a grain of salt. I have no idea. I haven't seen this information personally um but yeah i mean if games can get updated to 7000 g that's crazy that's crazy um so i don't know if you see a game in the next week that has a, a update to 6000 g you heard it here first all right um Froggy T says that's dope. How do you manage that? You're probably talking about the Easter egg. I just have a good relationship with the developer. I've covered their game before and they're releasing another game. And uh, I had a I we had like had a conversation and they had asked me like if, if I wanted to do an Easter egg. And so um, originally I told them to put like a poster or something that they could interact with, but they decided to do like a video game magazine. And so they asked me to design like a graphic for it, so I sent them a graphic uh, for the mag the face of the magazine. So I also designed the graphic that's on the cover of this magazine in the game. City Slicker 1996 says, "Will you cover GoldenEye game from Game Pass that has achievements?" I'm hoping so. It's just you know if I can find enough time to do it. 
Bark Whippington says, is it a Rattalaka game? Um, you're probably uh, talking about uh, what I was just talking about, 6000G? No. It's not a Rattalaka game. Rattalaka hasn't even updated any games to 2000G yet, let alone 6000 or 5000. But yeah, it's not a Rattalaka game. It's someone that, it's it's a game that's already have 5000 gamers score. That might update to 6000 gamers score. I don't know how they're going to do it, but they're definitely trying, like I said. said take it with a grain of salt but I don't know I think I actually got another DM from them Where did I put my phone at? let's see Another game I got recently is the new uh, We Were Here. I don't know if you guys remember that game. I think it was on uh, Games with Gold. They, were, they made a sequel, and now the third game is coming out. It's called We Were Here Forever. I think I might cover that one. Froggy T says, do you feel games getting boosted gamer score cheapens the work, all the work that you would put in? Nah, uh, not necessarily. I mean, anybody, if they really care that much about the quality or, like, the difficulty of somebody's achievements, like, they could go to their list and go through their games and be like, okay, well, this person's playing a bunch of easy games or they're playing a bunch of hard games, so... You could literally have somebody with 10,000 10, gamer score, but they beat and got 1,000G and Elden Ring and all the Dark Souls games and haven't played anything else, and, you know... That probably took more work than someone that has a hundred thousand gamer score in easy games. So I don't know. I just think you should play what you want to play. If achievements, uh, you know, make you have more fun or give you more incentive to play games or give you more uh, like a rewarding feeling, you know, everybody has different styles of uh, playing games and stuff like that. Um, I like achievements. It, it made it for for me when achievements came out. It gave me a reason to play the game and try to complete it uh, to 100%, and maybe do things in the game that I wouldn't have done originally. I think it gives uh, players an opportunity to explore areas of the games that they didn't initially plan on exploring, like maybe going for collectibles or trying out modes that they haven't tried and things like that. Um, not only that, but like growing up, you know, I beat so many different games on like Sega and Nintendo 64 and GameCube, and I have no way to log all the games I played and see what, how far I got in each one and things like that. So achievements give you a way to log all the games that you played and also uh, get a glimpse of like how much you played those games and how many games you beat and things like that. So I think that like is where a lot of the value is in achievements. Uh, Sensei, who do you got winning the NFC Championship Sunday? Bro, I, I already know you know the answer to this because I know, I know, I know you're a 49er fan too. Because we're friends on Twitter. The 49ers are going to win. 49ers are going to win. Don't make me put on my 49er hat and my Debo Samuel jersey. I almost wore my 49er hoodie during this stream. 49ers are going to win. Eagles are are a bit in, intimidating, but the Niners are gonna win. We're gonna go there, and we're gonna have the first rookie ever to go to the Super Bowl. All right, guys. So I just got like 112,000 bounty. I need 790. See, I still need another 100,000 bounty. So we're gonna have to do this trick again. I'm gonna be engaging with the chat a lot, waiting for this bounty. Let's see. One sec, guys. So Bounty, Rosewood Police Station, that's going to automatically start a chase. And so we're going to reverse. 
first. We're heading over to the bus station. We'll take the left. Let's get rid of this cop. Oh wait. I don't want to get rid of the cop. Why did I do that? Oh my gosh. I'm about to restart this. I don't know why I did that. I was so tempted to crush that cop, and then like literally half a second later I realized that I'm trying to have this cop chase me. Oh cool, another cop seen me. Alright, cool. Let's see. Uh Sensei says, my man, you already know bro, Niners all day. I'm ready for this. I'm excited, especially because I live in Phoenix. So just the fact that, dude, I grew up, I was born a Niners fan. I came out of my mother a Niners fan. And so, you know, I it got to experience a little bit of like the Super Bowls and stuff when I was a baby and a young kid. But most of my life, the Niners suck. Up until like the last like 10 years. And, um... Yeah, I mean, I can't believe that we're one win away from going to the Super Bowl here in Phoenix. Like, I'm pretty excited. If they go here in Phoenix, I'm going to go to the Super Bowl experience. I'm going to try to get a parking pass so I can try to tailgate with my family. And just, like, bring a TV and hotspot, like, YouTube TV to it or something so I can stream the game. Like, outside of the stadium. So you can hear the stadium roar and stuff. I don't want to get too pumped up. I'm over here getting pumped up by the game, but... We still gotta beat the Eagles. Mark Wolfington says, I wish Xbox had an achievement system similar to the trophy system on PlayStation, like the Platinum, Gold, Silver, Bronze. Yeah, I, I do see how that could maybe have value, but they would have to go back retroactively to all of the other games and like decide which achievements are, you know, Silver, Bronze, Gold, or whatever the fact, or whatever the case is, and... That would take quite a while, so I don't know. I don't know if they'd be able to do that one. John Wright says, hey, what's up? What up, John? What up? Sensei says, I was all dripped up with Niner here at birth. Yeah, I know. I know. Same. I'm telling you. I came out of my mom with a 49er hat. Um, you get made me put on my Debo Samuel jersey, bro. I'm ready. I'm so ready. I can't wait for Sunday. I just wonder, like, who's gonna win between the Chiefs and the Bengals? That was the same AFC Championship last year, I think, and uh, I think the, the Bengals eliminated the Chiefs. Someone in the chat says, you're gonna be making more guides once you have 800K? Absolutely, man, I'll be back at it part of the reason why I slowed down. There's really two reasons why I haven't uploaded guides in the last month. One was I was right at, like, stuck under this milestone and I really needed to do the stream and I just, I couldn't find the time to get the stream done. And I wanted to do it right. I wanted to do the stream. And, uh, yeah, so I just had to wait until I had time to do the stream. And now that I have 800k, I can start playing, you know, different games again and stuff like that. I just didn't want to play a game and pass 800k and, like, totally miss my stream because I've been consistent with these streams. I've done one at 500k, 600k, 700k, and now it's fourth stream with my face at 800k. So, yeah, I'll be back to guide soon. I was just trying to make some short-form content. There's, there's a lot of changes with YouTube, and they're adding monetization to shorts, so... I wanted to build up a catalog of some short form content. Right now I'm approaching like 90 shorts, like short form videos. So I just want to have videos for everybody. Some videos for, you know, people that like shorts and longer videos for the people that watch me for guides. John Wright says, I'm doing good. Yesterday was planning on the Deadpool DLC for Midnight Suns, then playing the final DLC for Stranger Paradise. Final Fantasy Origin. Respect, bro. Those are both some grindy games. Those definitely aren't easy games. I have Midnight Suns. I, I, I unfortunately just haven't found time to try it yet. Um, I think I might even have the, the edition that includes the DLC. Um, and Stranger of Paradise. I heard that, that game was actually not that bad. I like Team Ninja. 
a big team in Japan. I wish that they would make like more games in the Dead or Alive universe, like the new Ninja Gaiden game. Uh, Merciless Wolf says, did you finish Call of Duty's on Veteran? Um, I beat a lot of the older Call of Duty's on my older profile on Veteran. This profile, Chico Guides, I've only uh, completed Call of Duty 2. I haven't touched any of the other Call of Duty's on my profile. Actually, I think I, I, think I played one of the modern ones. Cold War, I think I think I have Cold War on my profile, but I only have like one achievement. I never ended up like playing it or going back to it. We're at thirty-five thousand bounty. We need like another sixty-five thousand, and then we can go to move on. We'll do the milestones, we'll do the races, and then I should be able to face the next uh, blacklist character. Which is cool. I appreciate you guys tuning in for sure. But yeah, everybody that's wondering if I'm getting back to guides, guides are coming soon. Matter of fact, I'll probably upload one tomorrow. I'll probably upload like three guides tomorrow, honestly. I have a lot of catching up to do. On Rattalakas, on East Asia Soft games, on games that are made by people that support achievement updates. There's a lot of... Uh, New games that are like that, that come out this month that are made by people that do achievement updates. So these are games that will get more than 1,000 gamer score. So I definitely want to cover those. There's a lot of a lot more achievement updates on the way. Um, a lot more achievement updates on the way. Uh, what's what's the name of that developer? Uh, Turnox. People that made Nexoria. a couple games that have achievement updates like uh what's the name what's the name of that game i don't know i don't know it's bothering me now hold on a second I, i'll look at the games they made but they're uh they're kind of like uh friends with zitalon so they kind of took over some of the zitalon games turnox okay so they made unichrome uh, Bullet Beat. That's what I. That's what I was trying to remember. Bullet Beat. They made Bullet Beat. Um, and they took over rights for Dark Grim Mariupolis and Reactor X. Well, anyway, they just informed me today that Reactor X Two is coming out. Um, so you should expect that. I think it comes out at the beginning of February. February first. So you know Reactor X, like really easy game that has like 5,000 gamer score, they're making a sequel. And more than likely that one will end up getting updates until it has 5,000 gamer score as well. Let's see, what's up with chat? Uh, John Wright says, yeah, it was pretty good. I'm so close to the completion for achievements from the last DLC, Wanderer of the Rift. One achievement left in future, different future DLC. Nice, man. I'll be at the completion. That's pretty cool. Uh, Merciless Wolf says I might reach 800k gamer score sometime this year. You got it. You can do it. It's just, you know, unfortunately it costs a lot of money to keep up with all these easy achievement games. So, if you can, you know, find gamer score and game pass games, that's what I recommend. Uh, because then you're not, you know, spending a bunch of extra money. It's just hard because there aren't too many easy game pass uh, games for achievements. And once you play the easy ones, you've played them. It's kind of like on to like the five to ten hour completions and stuff like that. It gets a little more grindy. Since he says I can't believe I finished bullet beat, it crashed on me. Or I can't finish bullet beat, it keeps crashing on me. Hopefully they'll fix that. I've heard some complaints about that in some comments uh, on my guides. So hopefully they do fix the crashing. Luckily I was able to complete them. I think I it crashed on me a few times too, especially the PC version. But um, I think eventually I was able to like, get it done. All right, we're at sixty thousand. What I say? I need like another hundred thousand. So we need like forty more thousand bounty. If you guys haven't recognized yet, or if you're wondering what I'm doing in the stream right now, I'm getting free bounty using the bus uh, bus station trick. 
you drive up here, the cops can't get you, and your bounty is just going to keep going up and up and up. And it's going to save us some time compared to having to do a bunch of pursuits. John Wright says, yeah, I'll keep you updated if I complete Stranger of Paradise 100%. Do it, man. You can do it. Merciless Wolf says, Don't worry, me. I just work on AAA games for achievements. Nice. I feel like that's the way it should be. You know, like you should just play the games that you want to play, the games you're excited for, and then try to get an achieve all the achievements in the games that you actually want to play. You know, um, I know mean, it's kind of tempting to do like all the easy achievements and stuff like that. Um, just make sure that if you are doing that stuff, playing the games with easy achievements, that you're having fun, because if you're not having fun, there's no point. That's the biggest thing. If you're having fun, achievement hunting, and buying easy games and stuff like that, and nobody can tell you otherwise, as long as you're having fun. Let's see. We're at 70,000. I can't see. How many people do we have in the live right now? I guess I'd have to like flip the stream on my phone. Hemingway 102 Gaming says I hit 700k this month and I might hit 800k next month uh, or March. Thanks for the achievement guides. Thanks, man. I appreciate the support. I'm glad I was able to help you, you guys. You know, uh, reach your gamer score milestones and hopefully I'll help you really, uh, reach a lot more gamer score milestones. Let's see. Have any of you guys been watching the shorts I've been posting? What are your thoughts on the shorts? They're the one minute vertical videos that I've been posting. I know they're really short, that's the point. Um, you can't have them longer than one minute, otherwise they're not uh, under the shorts category. But I've been trying to highlight some older games that uh, I played when I was younger or have nostalgia for. And so I'm kind of just doing like uh, little like breakdowns on the history of the games and trying to like spit out as much facts about the games as I can in one minute so I think they're cool it's been cool to revisit a lot of the old games that I've uh, grew up playing Merciless Wolf says I can't always 100% everything Shiva, but I'm not worried about it I do the best I can that's the most important thing you know like as long as you did your best that's that's all you can do is your best. You know? Even with achievement hunting, like, sometimes it gets to the point where, like, it's, like, you've spent a lot of time trying something, you've tried a lot of times, and sometimes you just gotta move on. And then, you know, it's hard, because, like, oh, I want the full, uh, 1000G, or I want the full completion, but, I don't know, for me, time is money, like, Everything comes down to time, so if something is like taking too long or I'm like spending two hours trying the same level or something like that, a lot of the time I'll just move on. I don't like to give up, but it's, it's hard uh, justifying the time spent and stuff like that. You're stuck on the same level forever. Versus Wolf says, thanks bro, you're awesome. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. There's probably a lot of stuff you guys could be doing on Friday night, and you are watching my stream, so I definitely appreciate that. Right now, I think all my family went to sleep. I don't know if my girlfriend's sleeping. She was watching the kids, but I don't know. I don't know if the kids fell asleep. I think my baby boy fell asleep. I'm guessing because I haven't heard him at all. His mama bear probably got him to bed. Let's see, we're at 91,000. Alright, I'm ready for this pursuit to end pretty much. We're almost done with this part, guys. Uh, after I have this, this quick bounty, I'll just need to do a few milestones, a few races, and then we'll do this blacklist race and uh, that'll finish this thing up at 800,000 gamer score. I have a feeling 900,000 is going to come like pretty quick. 
At this pace, I've been hitting like 100,000 gamer score every like three months or so. So I can imagine like three months from now, I'll probably be doing a stream for 900k. But it might be sooner than that. Uh, just because it's the beginning of the year and a lot of uh, games have gotten achievement updates. And with all these achievement updates, it's going to make that next 100,000 go by a little bit faster than you would expect. So, I don't know. Maybe I could pull off 100,000 in two months instead of three months. We'll have to see. It's hard for me because I can't just, like, binge these games. Because I put pressure on myself to make guides for every game that I play. So it's like, I gotta play the game, complete it, record it, edit the footage, voice over the footage, upload the video, and then move on to my next game. So it's hard for me to just go like achievement game after achievement game. Because, you know, I have like the pressure of releasing a guide for each game that I play. So, I just do the best I can, try to cover as many games as I can. Versus Wolf says, I got plenty of time to hunt down a few achievements for older games and newer games. That's one thing I really want to do in this next year, is I want to play more of my 360 games. Like, even if I can just complete one Xbox 360 game a month, or maybe just like 12 games over the next year, 12 episodes of classic completions, I think that would be really cool. Starting off with this one, this will be my January game. I just have to figure out what Xbox 360 game I want to complete in February. Because January flew by. Can you guys even believe it's the end of January? I cannot believe that this one flew by this quick. Alright, hopefully I'm able to cool down right here. Dang it, they see me again. Alright, we're just going to have to wait. And eventually they won't see me anymore. bounty I need now. You know what? I could probably even like back up like right here. Maybe they won't see me right here. Cold Heat says hi. How you doing? What up? What up Cold Heat? Merciless Wolf says, I just buy more Xbox 360 games soon for my birthday. Yeah, man. I try to buy, like, a couple of weeks. I try to get the game, the games, especially Xbox 360, for $3 or less. And my perfect price is, like, 2 bucks a game. I know that sounds hard. Like, you can go to Goodwills and stuff like that, you can average those prices. But you can buy bundles off of people, like, off of OfferUp and stuff like that. Um... You can get games for cheap. You, know, you just have to like buy 50 games for 100 bucks or find good deals where you can get them cheap. I really don't like uh, spending too much on my 360 games. Like I said, that, that's why I think it's like prime time to hunt for Xbox 360 and original Xbox games because right now everybody's hunting GameCube and Nintendo 64 and those are the expensive ones, but. You know, in a few years, people are going to start having nostalgia for the old 360 games they used to play. And they're going to spike in value. And, um, yeah, so just, try, if you're interested in collecting Xbox 360, try to get them right now while they're cheap. Because even over the last few years, they've been getting more expensive. There's some games now that, that are pretty pricey. Like the Spider-Man games, any old Xbox uh, 360 Spider-Man games are expensive. Alright, cool guys, so we did it. We got 104,000 bounty, which is going to hit that milestone right there. And um, we also got one milestone. We need four milestones in total. Looks like we got one for having 30,000 in a single pursuit. But I also need to get these. So, uh, similar to last time, I think the easiest ones are related to the speed traps. So... For this one, I have to get 139 miles per hour. So let's try to do that real quick. Oh, 
Okay, cool. Got that one nice and easy. Hey. And we're gonna go back to milestones and we're going to pick another speed trap. This one is for 136 miles per hour. Typically when you press them, it spawns you like right down the road from it. So I'm just going to go forward. Oh wow. That's gonna slow me down and I'm out of nitrous. So I don't know, I might not get this one. And it's super curvy. I'm definitely gonna have to retry this. I honestly think it'll probably be better to come from this way anyway. I'm getting, getting a lot more speed right here. Alright, so let's turn around. I don't have any nitrous right now, so that's what sucks. Alright, there we go. Another milestone down. So we're gonna go to milestones. Oh wait, I actually changed blacklist characters. Number nine, Earl. Milestones, and we're gonna do the next speed trap, which is actually 149 miles per hour. That one actually might be kind of hard. Let's see. John Wright says I'm excited for the game that's coming out in the next few. I'm excited for the games that are coming out in the next few months. Me too. There's some. Oh man, freaking cops got me before I went. Yeah, there's a lot of good games coming out this year. to a hazard real quick. Another police. Alright, hopefully that'll take care of them. hazard at. I think it's this gas station right here, I'm guessing. Oh man, I missed it. Oh, they ran into the gas station. Nice. Dang, they set up a freaking roadblock. We gotta get away from this. Oh, come on, man. I almost just wanna like let them freaking arrest me so I can move on. Pulled out the freaking SUVs on me. Oh dang, I might get busted. Oh no. Gotta give it my best shot at least. Man, they're taking this for real right now. making them more and more mad at me. It's because I got all that bounty and so I, I raised my car to level 3 heat and so they're all move yellow car no alright they got me dang it alright let's see what's up with the chat Boyd King says, I'll say now within the next 10 years, 360 games will have their own GameCube boom. Yeah, definitely. 
see right now it's just been enough time where the people that grew up on n64 and gamecube are adults and they're having nostalgia for those games and want to purchase those old games that they grew up playing it's gonna happen eventually for 360. Mark Wolfington says, man, gonna go do hardcore Xbox 360 game hunting spree here soon then. Everest says, Chivo, where are you from? I'm from Arizona. I'm from Arizona. Okay, so we're gonna go to Milestones and then we're going to go to that speed trap. See if we can get it. What was what was the uh, requirement? Like 149 miles per hour. All right, cool. We got it. We got it. All right. So I think that's it for milestones. Cool. So we have the bounty. We have the milestones. Now all we need, I think, it's like five wins, five races, and then we will uh, have the blacklist showdown. And then after that. I'll have 800,000 gamer score. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. I know it's super late or super early, depending on where you're at. So we need to do five of these races. I'm gonna start off with the drag race, just because that's one of the easier and quicker ones. Merciless Wolf says, I might buy every Xbox 360 backwards compatible game. I'd buy them while you can, because a lot of them are getting delisted. Um, eventually a lot of these games will only be available to the I love drag racing in these games. Oh, as I say that, I freaking told my car. Ah. <sighs> I was doing so good that time too. I was freaking smoking everybody. See, I don't know why it did that. It did that last time with that truck too it like forced me into that lane game audio is louder than you let me scoot up to my mic a little bit hopefully that's a little bit better that a little bit better guys i guess i can turn up my volume on my mic a little bit all right i turned it up on the mic a little bit Let's see, let's see, let's see. I had no idea the audio was messed up. Was it really messed up this whole time? Dang, that person got messed up. This is way harder than it's supposed to be. Okay, let's see here. Perfect shift. Dang it, man. It's because you have to focus on shifting. You gotta focus on when to use your nitrous, but when you use your nitrous, it gets you like to the point where you need to shift like really quickly, so you gotta like be on it. And you also gotta manage uh switch lanes. What the hell was that? How was I even supposed to avoid that? That was crazy. Wow, that guy did me dirty that time.
Aw, oh, dang. I thought I was going to win for a sec because I seen that dude crash. Luckily, there's no penalty to losing this race. Where it says Chivo, do you know Snamwiches? He makes achievement videos too. I have no idea who that is. I've never heard of that. Okay, I think I got it this time, guys. Oh my gosh, that was so close. You guys see that? That was so close. Alright, sorry for wasting your time. I, I I know I messed up a few times on that race. Four more. Let's see. These are going to be the quickest ones. Alright. Honestly, I remember this game being a little bit shorter, but it actually takes quite a while uh, especially once you get a, a few blacklist members in you know it takes a while to get from blacklist member to blacklist member because you got to do the bounty requirements you got to do the milestone requirements you got to do the race requirements and there's 15 of these different blacklist members or bosses so each chapter takes an hour that's 15 hours the game is pretty long for a need for speed game second place. I need to go a little bit faster on this next uh, checkpoint. Gerald Longmire says, hey, what's up? What up, bro? What up? Sorry, I'm like super trying to focus right now, guys. Right now I'm in first place. Um, these races, it doesn't necessarily go by... Sorry, I'm getting distracted by messages. It doesn't necessarily go by who's in front. It goes by who has the fastest uh, miles per hour past all of these checkpoints. Each checkpoint, it checks your miles per hour and it adds, uh, or it takes your average. Or no, it adds them all up. It adds them all up. Okay, cool. So we won that one on the first try. And so we're going to go to race. Races. And uh, we need three more because we need five total. So we're going to do the next speed trap. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Everest says, Woof, are you an NPC? <laughs> I think everybody discovered that I have my Xbox 360 notifications on, and so now we're getting messages.
Let's see. Sorry guys, I'm focused on this race at this moment. I'll check the chat in just a second. Great, we got a police. Another one. Dang, we're barely 50% done with this race. This one's long. Luckily, it's not multiple laps, straight shot, but still, it's probably like seven or eight miles. Oh, dang. I really messed up right there. It's not going to mess me up too bad because we're doing speed trap right now. And uh, it's based off of how fast you go through the speed traps and not necessarily who's in front. So, even though I crashed, it wasn't the end of the world. Let's see. Six percent done with this race. We're getting close, guys. We really are. Dang, that police got messed up. You going for the shortcut? Lose those cops. Oh, dang, they chased me off the ledge. Crazy police, man. All right. We are nearly done. I beat second place by a lot. All right, cool. Let's see. Chat. Villously. Let's go. What's up, Chivo? What up? I feel like every time someone says what up to me, I'm obligated to do like the what up, guys. We're like, what up? <laughs> All right. Jack Gildy says, I was the first to send you a message. My bad. LOL. I was just wishing you luck on 800K. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Typically, I don't see my notifications uh, because usually I'm playing like on my Xbox uh, Series S or X. And I have to have notifications off, otherwise, like all my footage would be ruined by notifications. Because I get a lot of messages, I get a lot of friend requests. If I had the notifications on, like all my guides would be filled with like people trying to send me messages and stuff like that. So. Because I'm playing the 360, I've never like uh, adjusted the notifications, so yeah, I, I'm sure you guys can figure it out. Like, when you guys message me, it shows that uh, notification here on the footage. Iron strokes. That's funny. <laughs> you guys crack me up. I'll do my best to look at you guys' messages later. Come on, I'm gonna lose this cop already. Let's see. I need like one of those hazard areas. But of course, there's like none right here. Just take me on a freaking loop. Alright, let's try to turn around. No, that didn't work. Shortcut. 
Oh, I took that cop out. All right, cool. We're just going to chill right here. Hopefully they don't see me. All right, what's up with the chat? What's up with the chat? Uh, Sly Carbine says, what's up? What up? <laughs> RG McCreed with the crying emoji. Uh, Bark Wolfington says, the soundtrack is so early 2000s. Ah, the good old days. Yeah, definitely. Everest says, Chivo, can you do a really deep voice? Yeah, that's like my guide's voice. See, like, this is my regular voice. But, like, when I do my videos, like, on shorts or TikTok or whatever, I do go with, like, a little bit different voice. Like, a little, a little more stern. Like, on my shorts. Like, if I was doing a short about this game, like, have you ever played Need for Speed Most Wanted? What up, guys? This is Chivo Guides. So yeah, it's just like a little bit like extra on the voice. It's like uh, I uh, compare the voice to like uh, a couple different things. Kind of like EA Sports. Like EA Sports. It's in the game. Or like EA Sports Big. I kind of try to do it like with that like type of voice when I'm voicing stuff over. It just depends. But yeah, you asked. <laughs> Archie McCreed, your voice is iconic. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. All right, so we need two more races. I think I'm just going to do these two toll booth ones right here. All right. Thanks. You know, it's funny because I get comments on my voice all the time. And, you know, sometimes people comment that they love my voice or that I have a unique voice or I sound like this person or I sound like that person or whatever. But I also get comments of like, I shut off this video 10 seconds into it because I don't like your voice or like you sound like this or you sound like that or you sound like you have a smoker's voice or all types of shit but you know um, when you make content not everybody's gonna love it like and that's okay there's gonna be people out there that don't like your voice or don't like the way you make your content and stuff like that but that's fine you're not making it for those people you're making it for the people that enjoy your content you know, I totally just messed up. Freaking A. Sorry, I got distracted. Merciless Wolf says your voice is awesome, Chivo. Thanks, man. I do appreciate it. You know what? The funniest. Okay, so like I said, like people, people will tell me I sound like uh, this person or that person all the time. But the one that, that I actually have gotten multiple times, which I don't understand why, because I don't feel like I uh, uh, like I sound like this person, but I've at least got like four or five comments saying that I sound like Dave Franco. I'm like, Dave Franco? I don't think I sound like Dave Franco. You know, like James Franco's little brother? I don't understand. And people have said, people have said, like, uh, all types of different people, but that's the one I get the most. Aw, oh, damn it. I really fucked that up. I'm gonna have to restart, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so... What's up with the chat? Don't listen to them. I bet they wish they had your voice. Thanks. I appreciate it. But yeah, it's like my regular voice right here, right? Like, I'm not like sounding any type of way. I showed you guys like a couple minutes ago, like the voice I kind of use for like my content, like the epic kind of the what up, like that. But yeah, and then people will like comment on my videos saying like, 
is that your real voice? That's not your real voice. Or like, accuse me of like using like sound effects or like effects on my voice. Like I talk a certain way. Like I talk like 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 kind of like a voice that that you would hear like in like older commercials, like the epic movie announcer voice. That or like I said, like the EA Sports. Like it's kind of like what I go for. That's like the inspiration right there uh, behind the Chibo Guides intro. The Chibo Guides. I was trying to like make it like EA Sports big. I was trying to like, uh, that's like my main inspiration with my intro was that. Speaking of that, they really need to bring back EA Sports big. Like, EA was killing it at this time. They were making so many good games, and they had a lot of, like, uh, licenses, too. Like, they had James Bond, they had, like, Harry Potter games, like, they had all the big licenses, and they were also making, like, a bunch of good games. I literally have no idea how long I've been streaming for. I know it's been quite a while. So again, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I appreciate the support. Let me know if you guys like uh, streaming Chibo. I know you guys don't get to see this uh, this side of me much. I try to give you guys a little rare treat of a stream every 100,000 gamer score. But if you think that I should stream more than that, uh, let me know. I like it's, it's something I would consider. Like you know, I would probably make a little bit more money uh, streaming off my content, but it's a whole different ball game. Like streaming live, it's a whole beat. It's a whole different beast. There's different challenges. There's different technology you need. Different equipment you need. I'll get uh, to the chat in just a moment, guys. I just want to make sure I win this race real quick, and then I will check the chat. Dang, I'm going to have to ditch these cops again. Scraping the walls and the turns, no break, no break needed, no breaks, pedal to the metal. Alright, so, aw oh, damn, I gotta get rid of these cops, freaking A man. I was about to just go to my next race, aw, oh, dude, every time I try to take that shortcut, I freaking crash. Down spot. I need a cool down spot. Oh, I crushed my own car. I wonder if I can make it to this cool down spot. Or if I should just stay still before I freaking run into another cop. Chill right here. Let's see. Ever says, bro, I thought you were my co-worker for a bit. What? I don't understand that. And then Ever says, have you watched Breaking Bad? Uh, I have. I watch all of Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad is actually one of my favorite shows. That would make a great video game. I would play a Breaking Bad video game, like, right away. And, uh, what's your favorite car? I'm not too sure, honestly. Uh, probably a GTR or a Supra. Mark Whoopington says, you've been streaming for almost three hours. That's crazy. It flies by. Every time I do one of these streams, it flies by. 
uh, Everest says stream more. I'll definitely try. Maybe I'll try to give you guys some extra random streams here and there. Archie McCreed says, I don't care what anyone says. That voice is dope as hell. Thanks, Archie, man. I appreciate it, dude. Merciless Wolf says, hey, Chivo, what do you think on the new Need for Speed Unbound? I actually uh, played it for like 30 minutes or so. I haven't played enough of it to give you like a true and honest opinion, but I do like it. I think it's a step in the right direction. Um, I like the art style. I think it was a uh, cool risk. Um, but I think they should have chose a different art style. Okay, so now that we're caught back up with chat, we need one more race. We are almost there, guys. After this race, I'll be able to face the next the next blacklist character. We're almost there. And then I'll be back to guides just for you guys. Let me know, what should I play first? I know I still gotta beat this. I'll probably like play this every once in a while until I complete it. But uh I'm eager to get back to some games. I also I bought Sonic Frontiers recently. That's something I've been wanting to play. I, I did buy Sonic. And uh my brother, which we like share games or share accounts, he bought Callisto Protocol, so. I've been wanting to play Callisto Protocol as well, but it's like, is it even worth playing Callisto Protocol anymore now that Dead Space Remake is out? I don't know. I think at this point I'd rather probably just play uh, Dead Space. Yeah, this game, this game aged very well. Like, it's still a lot of fun, honestly. I'm not even, like, looking at it like, oh, man, this frame rate is horrible, or these graphics are horrible. Like, the game holds up well. I've even seen YouTube videos of, like, people playing it in 4K, like, via an emulator, like a GameCube emulator, like Dolphin or something like that. And when people emulate it in 4K, like, the game looks like, like, current gen. Like, it looks pretty good. Very impressive. It's crazy how, how good emulators are getting. Like, I'm sure that the emulators Xbox uses to, uh, like, uh, upgrade the resolution on their backwards compatible games. That technology is really good. I think, like, like uh, some emulators, like Dolphin and stuff, use similar technology. Like, you can make an old game look, like, brand new. Yeah, people have videos out there uh, online of playing this game in 4K, like via emulator. It looks awesome. Man, I might mess up this race. Freaking A. Running out of time. What a good shortcut. See, like this shortcut right here will win, will win you a race. This is the type of shortcut that's really good. Like that saved me a ton of time. But there are other shortcuts in this game that are completely pointless. That almost like cost you time. Sorry guys, not talking that much. I was just trying to focus on that race. All right guys, three hours later, we're about to do this. We are about to do this. I'm so close. 
I got a text on my singular phone. Especially these days. Like, I got a family and stuff. Like, inflation is... Inflation is killing me. I'm sure it's killing everybody. Inflation sucks. Especially when you got kids to feed and stuff. Like, Okay, let's see. Let me catch up with the rest of the chat real quick before we dive into this blacklist race. Um, have you played the Walking Dead game? Someone asked me that earlier. Uh, what's so amazing is Most Wanted is aging very well. Absolutely is aging very well. Uh, Everest says, why have you not been playing in the last 28 days? It's because I was right under this uh, 800,000 gamer score and I didn't want to pass it. And I just didn't have the time to stream or get the stream together or anything like that. I wanted to make sure I did it right. Like I was out of town for like 10 days and I've still been making content. I've just been making sh uh, shorts. Sorry, I got hiccups. I've just been making shorts. Like uh, vertical short form videos, you know. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to be back to guides now that I passed 800k. Merciless Wolf says, I guess some old games do age well. Absolutely. Solid Davis says, I never would have thought you would look like that. Beautiful, my guy. Uh, thanks, Solo Davis. I'm glad you think I'm beautiful, bro. <laughs> but uh, I think it's so funny how we have some people uh, in the uh, stream today that have never seen my face. This is like probably the fifth, sixth, maybe seventh time I've showed my face. But this is the fourth stream, so I know for sure this is at least the fourth. But I've done, I did a face reveal, I did some unboxing, so there's been a few times where I showed my face. But uh, yeah, you guys get to see what I look like. The face behind the, what up guys, this is Chivo Guides. If you guys can't tell, my mic is like right here off camera. <laughs> Um, all right, so we are ready to challenge Earl, blacklist number nine. Before I do, let's go to achievements. Let's check this out. We're exactly 25 gamer score away. After I beat Earl, I will get 25 gamer score, taking me to exactly 800,000 gamer score. So let's do this, guys. We're going to challenge Earl. There's two races. A speed trap and a sprint. So we're going to start off with a speed trap. Volker says, do it again. What up, guys? This is Chivo Guides. Back here again with another achievement guide. That's with the EA Sports voice. EA Sports. It's in the game. Alright guys, we gotta win this race. Let's do this. That 800,000 gamer score. This is a speed trap race, so it's like all of your miles per hour added up based off of the speed that you pass those speed traps at. So I don't necessarily need to beat him, like he doesn't, I don't need to be in front of him, I just need to make sure I go through these speed traps faster than him. That's the most important thing. So far, I am. I'm like 17 miles per hour ahead of him. Seventy one percent done with this race. That confused me right there for a sec, because there was that shortcut if I went straight. Oh no, that's gonna mess me up on this speed trap. 
Luckily, he slowed down too, though. Alright, cool. I won this one. Alright. Cool. One race down. One more left. Till we defeat Earl. Let's see. Archie McCreed says, I love that voice. Void King says, that's why I prefer art style over graphics. Uh, Merciless Wolf says, you're so close to 800k gamer score, Chivo. Well done. I appreciate it. Ever says, do you like Walking Dead Telltale? Yeah, those games are cool. I beat the first one, a little bit of the second one. Didn't beat any of the other ones. guys we almost got this done this could be it right now this could be towards the end of this stream this marathon stream of over three hours come on come on i can't let him pass me like that take a shortcut Wow, that was messed up. Luckily, he crashed or something. My car's like all peeling out. Damn, I'm barely 20. Oh, shit, that wasn't good. Barely 27% done with this race. It's a long sprint. Luckily, it's not multiple laps. Dang, that was a sharp turn. The guy got me on the shortcut. Dang, if I restart, I really need to remember that shortcut. Dang, he got me good right there. Luckily, it's not even halfway through the race, so I still have an opportunity to catch up, I think. I hope I don't have to start this long ass race all over again. I really don't. I really don't want to do that. Oh, freaking A, dude. That sucks. Uh, unfortunately, there's no rewind in this game like Forza. So we're going to restart. I have to focus a little bit harder, I guess. With these races, it's really important that you don't pass the finish line if you're losing because if you lose to these blacklist uh, characters they can take your pink slip into the car that you spent your money on or you've been you know upgrading uh, they could take it so you really got to be careful you can lose it all in this game if you don't know how it works having very good luck right now. I need to hit up some shortcuts. I 
think I'm still in it. Just gotta catch up a little bit. Aw, oh, dang, that's that shortcut that I said I need to remember to take next time. Fuck. Damn it. Great, that really messed me up right there. beast mode right now trying to catch up Come back season, guys. I'm going to come back. I know you probably doubted me in this race. 75%. I think I could do it. Got too much heart to quit. Got to cut these corners fast. Peace out. I was about to call him a bad word. Try to keep this PG. So close, so close, so close, so close, so close. Oh, damn it, man. You guys. You guys. I'm surprised they let me restart. I honestly thought I might lose my pink slip. I'm going to get back to the chat in a sec. I got to beat this race, guys. I really just lost, like, barely right there. So intense. I know you guys were like sweating right there. I came back. That reminded me of, of uh, Cars. You ever seen the movie Cars? Where it's like passing the finish line at the same time as the other car and he like sticks his tongue out and he, and he wins the race because he stuck his tongue out. That's how I felt. Game's making me work for this last race. I just gotta make sure that I take that freaking shortcut that I was talking about the last two times. I was beating this guy and then freaking got all caught up in this garbage right here. Damn. Horrible turn. Horrible turn. Never turn like that, guys.
Oh, fuck, man. That's that shortcut that I needed. And every time that freaking car takes it. Damn. I told myself. Two times already, guys. I was supposed to take that shortcut. Now I'm here freaking chasing this guy again. Oh, there's slow motion. It's X. I should probably use that more. I, I have a freaking slow motion mechanic I'm not even using. I think I got this. It's a battle the rest of the race. Seventy five percent done. Just can't mess up. Damn it, man. Damn, what the hell did I just run into? Oh. Dang, I might lose this one. Freaking A, guys. Not this time. Not this time. Oh, guys. How is this happening? How is this happening? Please tell me, how is this happening? All right. Let's take a Wusa, take a Wusa break, and I'm gonna check the chat. Hold on. Solo Davis says, I went from a little over 50k to 220k gamer score because of you, man, and I'll forever be grateful. I appreciate you, Solo Davis. Thanks, man. Uh, Everest says, Can you make more content on co uh, console command videos? I actually have a few uh, in my pocket. Let's just put it that way. Uh, Volker says, I suck at driving games in, in real life. I haven't been pulled over yet. Nice. Everest says, Chivo, have you ever said the F word? Yes, many times. Uh, Everest says, would you do an Among Us stream? I don't think so. I don't play that game. Uh, Merciless Wolf says, hey, Chivo, I believe in you. You can do this. Uh, Cursed Odin. Yo, he's in the chat now. What's up, man? He says, hey, bro. Uh, Merciless Wolf says, uh, I'm not an NPC. Uh, Gerald Longmire says, that was really close. Curse of Odin says, I'm here to witness history. Let's go. Solo Davis says, you got this. Solo Davis says, I used to play this game all the time, but I don't remember it like this, to be honest. Merciless Wolf says, you got this, Chivo. Everest uh, says, Wolf, the emojis make it cringe, bro. Sensei says, Chivo, I wanted to say thanks for all you do for the Achievement Hunting community. Thanks, Sensei. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you, bro. Alright. We could do this, guys. We could do this. I need to go Vin Diesel. Go Vin Diesel mode on this fool. 
I'm taking the shortcut this time, guys. I've lost, what, two times now right at the end? All because I didn't take the freaking shortcut that I told myself to take multiple times already. So, I just got to keep an eye out on this little GPS in the lower left-hand corner. Look for that sharp turn so I can anticipate it coming. Dang, man. Right into that freaking wall. sharp turn coming up eventually I should have just remembered what percentage uh, of the race it was at oh shit dude I missed it guys I freaking missed it it's all good that he 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 missed it too. But still, I jinxed myself bad right there. I don't know how how I keep missing that. It just comes up so fast. Dang man, I really could have used some nitrous right there. My freaking eyes are getting so tired from for streaming this long. Gosh. I'm going to get to the chat in just a minute, guys. I want to complete this race real quick. And then I will engage with the chat a little bit before I go. Ninety-two percent. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I just crashed into that ledge. Whew! That was close, guys. He was trying to catch me. I had to, like, look through my rearview mirror, make sure, like, I was right in front of him. That got intense. I'm not gonna lie. My my heartbeat's about to like beat out my chest right now. All right. Cool. I think we did it, guys. I think we got 800,000 gamer score. Let's see. Rival challenge. Earl defeated. Congratulations. You can now select two markers. 25 gamer score. For defeating Earl on the blacklist. Let's check the achievements. 
800,000 G chat. Yes, sir. We did it. I appreciate all you guys. First and foremost, thank you guys for supporting my channel. Thank you for being in my stream. I couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, let me get to uh, the chat. I'll en engage with you guys a little bit uh, before I head out and end the stream. So, um, let's see. Merciless Wolf says, Chivo guides. Curse of Odin says, hey, what's up, Sensei? I'm hey, look, people are making friends in the chat. Sola Davis says, be on the lookout for the turn before 37%. I appreciate that info. Bark Wolfington says, you've been streaming for almost three and a half hours. Dang, man. That's impressive. It honestly is. I could I didn't think I was gonna stream this long. Um Curse of Odin says Sensei on the road to work. See, I, I you know, I was a little bit concerned about doing the stream so late, but I'm really happy that like people on the other side of the world were able to catch my stream like right when they woke up. That's pretty cool. Uh Well Tall Cloud says F1 2020 will be removed from EA Play and Xbox Game Pass Ultimate Libraries in March. I appreciate the info. I need to get back to doing some delisted diamonds. Uh, Sola Davis said, nice. Gerald Longmire says, yeah, you did it. Curse of Odin says, boom. Hemingway Gaming says, congrats on hitting 800K. Grant Fry says, yeah. James Bloor says, hey, man, love your vids. Keep up the good work. Thanks, James. I appreciate it. Merciless Wolf says, nice job, Chivo. Will Talk Cloud says, 800,000 gamer score. Bark Wolfington says, Hell yeah, woo. Uh, Villas Lee says, let's go, congrats. Bark Wolfington says, now I can go to sleep, lol. I know, I, I feel the same way. I'm gonna probably like eat a bowl of cereal, uh, drink a bottle of water, and uh, go rest my eyeballs, I think. Uh, Solo Davis says, 800K looks so clean on the 360. I know, right? Uh, Villas Lee says, I remember when you had 100k, you've came so far, and we are proud of you, man. Congrats. Thanks, bro. I appreciate, like, my true supporters, like, especially you day ones, like, I really appreciate it. Especially because there's a lot of other achievement channels out there, and I just appreciate you guys supporting me. Uh, Sensei says, this is when I'm gaming, this time is awesome. Hell yeah, bro. See, you're like me. Uh... We got kids and shit, so it's like sometimes you gotta wait for the the kids to go go down and stuff, and like so that you can get some like some gaming time as a dad. Everest says it's it's always the first one hundred thousand that takes the longest. Uh, Merciless Wolf says congrats for reaching eight hundred k gamer score Chivo. Everest says I subbed around two k or less. Thanks, man. I appreciate all you guys. Um, <clears throat> we're caught up on the chat. I would open up for some like Q and A and stuff like that, but honestly, the stream has been three and a half hours, and we had some opportunities during the stream to uh, go over some questions and engage in the chat and stuff like that. So um, I really appreciate you guys being here for this stream. Um, tomorrow, this will go up as a video. So. Um, I don't know, maybe some of you guys are watching this as a video tomorrow or in the future, but if you watch this full video or we're here for the stream, I truly appreciate it. If you're wondering uh, why I haven't been making guides, I was really just waiting to do this stream and I was trying to do some short form content. So just know I do have some video guides on the way. I'm going to catch up on the Rattalakas. I'm going to catch up on the East Asia Soft. I'm going to catch up on the achievement updates. And then from there, I'll try to play some cool games or some Game Pass games. But I do have some more guides and content coming for you guys. So just know I appreciate it. Uh, please continue supporting the channel. And uh, hopefully, you know, one day we'll be at like 100,000 su subscribers, something like that. You never know. You never know. Real quick before I go, though, uh, you guys want to help me guess this pink slip? So we have three random tiles. One of them has the pink slip for this car. Do you guys think I should go left, middle, or right? I can choose two of them. What do you think, chat? Help me get a pink slip. Chat says, when am I going live next? 
I have no idea. 900,000 gamer score? Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll give you guys a, a random stream before then, but typically it's every 100,000. Steven084 said, hi, bro. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Steven. I appreciate it, man. All right, so a lot of people said pick the middle one. So we're going to pick middle. No pink slip, but I got a free uh, impound. Um, second most popular, I think, is left. So we're going to go left. Dang, impound strike. Okay, no pink slip, guys. It's all good. You guys got me the pink slip on that last uh, black slip or blacklist guy. All right, guys. So look, next blacklist rival, number eight. Jules, real name Jade Barrett. She drives a Ford Mustang GT. Check out this cutscene real quick. Alright guys, so I think that's it. Again, I appreciate you guys coming by for the stream and supporting the channel. Thanks for everybody in the chat. I did enjoy engaging with you guys and answering all of your guys' questions. Um, I know this was a super long stream. I appreciate it. And um, depending on where you are, good night or good morning, I'm not sure. But either way, what up and good night.